Hello, everybody watching in at Ramco Monthly. Month number two, we got a huge freaking turnout comparison to the first tournament. Make sure we stop by for the first one, by the way. It was a great turnout. But again, this one's even bigger. I think we have almost double the entries compared to last time. It's quite incredible, honestly. Here. Uh, we are good. Yes, press the buttons. Go get them, dude. All right, here we go. Round two. Sorry, what is round What is round two? Yeah, it's actually round two match. Sorry to say. What is round two? We got Carp versus Darkin. Got to shout out to Carp for the for the representation for Terry with the Terry cap on. That's where we got base cam going. We do not, but he does have a Terry cap on. So this is always. Anyhow, uh, cause he has to see the advantage of being, you know, his own stage. But, but don't decide, though. Everything works go very well, especially for Kalsia, considering the fact that Blackboom won't break up his combo game naturally from like one electric god fist into the Yoki Splinky drop down there into Imagination. What a good command grab out of shield. Perfect timing as well. All right, anything on the ledge roll? Nope, not quite. You missed the Demon Scissors, but that's a whip on shield. And what's that gonna result in? A whip as well. Damn, bro, you had to all turn around. You forced that. Oh, okay, good spacing with the projectile from Terry. More spacing. Okay, very close touch. Yeah, I mean, very swinging forward airs, bro. But thankfully, the toe tap into the uppie will not kill quite yet because Kazuya is huge. His muscles, he keeps him down to the ground. Gravity is different to him. Sincerely, it's insane. Oh, but speaking of being different, though, we got Ghost Sauce going. He's throwing out the Power Geyser. Okay, another Power Geyser gonna whiff, but he still got good stage control. No punish, except for the fact that Alton Run will allow him to land that down tilt, despite whiffing the first one. First off, going to Carp of the game and the set. Oh, quick damage, quick damage. Now, let me just Thank you. Okay, poor landing on Darkin. Okay, okay, oh, okay, I, I can see what he was going for there. Trying to use the 10-hit combo a little bit, but decided to drop it midway to mix up a little bit. Ooh, catches a get-up attack, parry down to into another Power Geyser, dude. This advantage is crazy, and Ghost Sauce isn't going away unlike Rage Strike for Kazuya. Okay, can tell me spot dodged it, good stuff. Oh, unfortunate laser, I'm assuming that was a missed input, considering that they both turned around and didn't use the projectile that close up. Okay. Gonna use Tenkan to put him off stage. I see what he was waiting for, Ben. It makes sense to go for the down smash, but it's so sneaky when it comes to Terry's upbeat, considering the fact that even though he's over the ledge, he still has intangibility, especially when he's glowing blue like that. You do not want to mess with him when Terry glows blue. Like, Ghost Sauce is blue and red, dude. You don't want to see him when he's blue or when he's red. Oh, and another f tilt into the power geyser. Into, into uh, Rising Knuckle? I believe it's the terminology for it. Power... That sky special really hit that character. Yeah. How you do the score is you click on the little tab and then Buster update. Buster Wolf really got. Wait, isn't Buster? Isn't Buster Wolf the da da da? No. No, that's Power Geyser. No, Power Geyser is the. Wait, so then what's Power Dunk? Power Dunk. Wow, I'm learning so much about Terry Bogart today. Terry I... needs to diversify. But clearly, uh, he's having some issues here. Clear, clearly, I'm in need of. <laughs> I need. I, I need some spice. Yeah. I'm cultured. How are we selling so far? All right, cool. Oh, okay, I didn't even see what stage just selected. They ran straight back, I'm assuming, considering that didn't take very long for stage bands at the very least. Damn, both, both competitors are still having a great time. They're laughing, they're having a good sort about it. And yeah, we're running it straight back to FT. Here we go. Again, definitely still an advantage for Terry in this situation, considering the fact that Kazi can benefit a little bit more as well off the plot point. Uh, in comparison to Terry, I was saying earlier that, yeah, Kazuya also had an advantage because of the fact that FD is this way nothing can... 
Okay, well, uh, me and my uh, improper terminology for Terry's special moves aside, I'm gonna go play. Uh, you mind if I move my stuff here? Absolutely, go right ahead. Thank you. Actually, I guess I'm never mind, I'm just gonna take it. Let me see. Alright, I'm substituting for Vernius, uh, someone with significantly less knowledge. Hello, everyone, my name is Jackson. Alright, so we can see, let's see. Okay, so it looks like Kazu's just taking his first stock. We're gonna be seeing if uh, Terry can bring it back, make it an even game. Although, unfortunately, oh, ten hit, oh, got a, okay, he gets out of the 10 hit combo. Yeah, Kazu's advantage is notoriously difficult to. Uh, Take advantage of his recovery is very very fast. Got a good hitbox on it too. Looks like they're just playing footsies right now. Kazio playing defensively, making sure he doesn't get caught. Oh, oh, okay. Terry taking a huge amount of damage here. It's gonna make it even more difficult to come back. Oh, an opportunity. Oh, and nothing comes from it. All right. We're gonna see here if Terry can put off. Ah, he keeps whiffing on his uh, power dunk. Oh, I think he's at too high percent now for it to hit. Okay, Rising Tackle's gonna take it. Still though, at 86, Kazuya got a lot of damage on him. We're gonna see here if Terry can bring it back. And just like... And just like Vernius before me, it is... It is my time, I have to go play. Have a good time, chat.
Yeah. This is running way smoother than the melee. I heard it came down here, yeah. and then Jeff and I thought there was uh, As I say that. Who won? Who won? Right. Report that. Darkin won two one. It lagged. It lagged a couple times, but not nearly as much. Steve, you lied to me. Emmy, who are you guys playing? Who are you guys gonna? Be? Who are you gonna be playing? Oh, you're just letting it run, aren't you? Okay, can I get the Italian Panda versus Mario Mania 
Italian uh, versus Mario Maniac on this setup over here, please. I'm in the fourth. Mario Maniac is an Italian band. Hello. Oh, oh, is you want to help them? <laughs> oh, yo, we on the mic? Let's go. Yo, Wait, what the? It's okay, we're all, okay, all three, all three. I mean, I thought you were just doing the, literal doing the stream help. Well, literal story help. Okay. Oh, delay. Oh, boy. Everyone's favorite stream oh, delay. Oh, that is weird. <laughs> you know what? I'm not even going to listen. Okay. Here, you're going to stick with yeah. I can't believe you lied to me, Steve. <laughs> Round three. Oh, yo, let's go, Hanzo. Hey. Right, oh, Hamza, all right, all right. He's moving. Let's, he's let's see so, it, bro. He's gonna, he's gonna for those of you who don't know, Hamza is our resident Pichu expert. Mm -hmm. Now, this is the first time we've seen him put Krom in bracket. I'm excited to see how it does. Really? Yeah, I, I know he's been warming up recently at the club meetings, but I know his Pichu's still nice. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I expect that if he, if he isn't doing too well, he's going to switch over, but mm -hmm. currently his performance is pretty strong. Love to see Palutena, it, bro. Palutena isn't able to get in. He's spacing really well. Oh, but the roll punishes his jab. Okay, go jump to get away from that. Uh, I keep forgetting the name. Oh I have god. literally no idea. It's not Solar Flare. It's 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 a something Flare. Oh my god. The Fireball. Fireball. Oh, getting re reading the up smash. A reactor. No, nah, that was a reactor. Explosive Flame. We were both idiots. That's oh my it. god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I call myself a Kidicarus fan, bro. I'm a fraud. God damn. <laughs> Oh, speaking of fraudulent, this edge guard could be dangerous. Oh, oh it's still is, going this even. This is bad. This is where Krom is worst off the edge. Oh, but he managed to get back on. Mm. Okay, ten. they're one into up tilt. Clean, clean combo. Nice. Oh. oh, okay. What a lingering counter, man. That's crazy. Yeah, now Palo Oh, it. speaking of lingering, that up smash. <gasps> that was Nuka disgusting. Up. Yep, that'll do it. Oh, I guess it's not. I should move over here. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. That, uh, that up, up smash is gross. Oh, certainly. It lingers. It's a commitment, but it's still incredibly good at list trapping. Oh, yeah, it does yeah. two frame as well, so it goes under the ledge. Does it actually? Yes. It is a pillar of light that penetrates both sides of the equation. It's very scary. I don't know if I feel worse or better <laughs> having that information. I feel like you would, <laughs> I, I, like playing heavy characters like yourself, you should definitely learn better from that. Wow, just oh, a quick God. swing. Falling out with the F smash. Mm -hmm. Down tilt causing him to immediately make a quick second Damn decision is... right there, and just boom, no, no right answers, bro. You failed to test F smash. Oh my god. Yeah, Palutena, oh yeah, okay. Palutena, so we see, this is where Palutena shines, she's amazing in the neutral. Certainly. Krom currently struggling to find oh, a way that in. Oh, that really left. Yeah. Crazy. Let's see, yeah, okay, King of Whiffs, yeah, everyone, nobody's been connecting. Oh, oh, there one, okay, the classic, the Hansa special, here we go. Uh, Nothing yet. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's like, like a higher percent like that, when he goes for down throw, it's Krom or Roy, you want to do a, like an IDJ or a double, or like a full hop. Because Barry did a short hop and he didn't confirm because of that. Okay, he's catching all of his landings with that dash attack. Good stuff from Emmy. No, no punish on the jab. Mm. Getting dash attack. Dash attack won't be killing anytime soon, thankfully, because of how stale it is. But it's not. It's definitely a good burst option to call out uh, Chrome's bad decision Back making throw? currently. Oh, but again, this. And now he can make. Yeah, okay, he could have made it if he waited a little bit for that upy yeah, to get the maximum it's a height. A little early there, but I mean, I don't blame him for panicking. Panic. Okay, Palutena yeah. is rough. Certainly, certainly. That was a good tomahawk after the up air as well. Oh, but now he's off stage again. Okay, he makes it back safely. Okay, that's tech privilege. Ooh, getting, we yeah, getting, <laughs> love to see it. Getting stopped out by the shield. Mm, okay, what's he gonna do to follow up? Nothing. Okay. Oh, okay, good punish on the roll. Oh, the four glory special. Roll on the legend to F smash. Love to see it. Let's see, nothing yet. It's still really anyone's game, despite their percent deficit. Oh, yeah, Chrome is, we know this. Chrome is explosive. Okay, big punish. Gonna take a quick 23. Nice. nice. Okay. Oh, oh okay, he's close to extending. Oh, big of extensions. Here we go. Can he punish? He Can has. He, oh, he dropped his oh, advantage by doing the jab the wrong way. But at least he's got his percent even by punishing that safe, right, unsafe move on shield. Even game. It is anyone's to win. Oh, oh no! Oh no! Oh, but he didn't get punished. Okay. Oh, he's being way too courteous with that upbeat, dude. Like he, you have to make sure he's in your shield if you want that to connect. It could be a hard read attempt, but I don't know. Mm. Too many, that's the case. Oh, wow, Ooh. good spacing. Okay. I mean, to be fair, as, as a Bowser player, they never expect third up smash, you know what I mean? <laughs> no, I'll, I'll give you that one. Okay, any punish? Another up off the platform. Oh, not, not gonna, gonna kill. Take him off. Not yet, but very close. I, I can listen to his short hot inputs from here. My god. There we go. There we go. Insert that pressure. The gears are turning. Oh, oh but he all of a bit too much. He didn't even press a button and then Palutate to capitalize. You really do hate to see it. Okay, uh, how do I do this to get this game? Oh. It was... Yeah, no. Hey, uh, David. I went too well. Yeah. Uh, how do I change this? Yep. Jackson. 
Any idea to change this? What's that? Any idea to change the score? Oh, I have no. Oh, yeah. You gotta go. Uh, it's like a separate. Like a separate program? It's. Oh, separate. that. Ah, uh, no. Oh. Not that. That's A. There we go. Let's get that out of there. Let's get it out of here. See it right here. There you go. Oh, I there's a touchscreen? Oh, shoot. Oh, sick. Okay. Hey, okay. okay. You, can, you, can, you can do that. Then. That's crazy. <laughs> Technology is just. Technology is oh, wild, crazy. folks. Crazy. That's insane. It allows us to watch this. Oh, the music tech, what's it gonna pick? Folks, we have to know. We do have to know. Oh, you, Steve. Yes. Do you mind if uh, one of my friends is to record stuff today is gonna be leaving soon? If you're not playing and I'm in a match and that's not on the stream, could you record that? Yeah, sure. Thank you. Are you, you, you want me to record it? Basically, yes. I mean, like, I have my camera right here. Okay, sure. Yes, I'll just show you. Yeah, yeah if I can. I, can, if I, I can, will I show you how to operate the camera after oh, the second game yeah, of making, this set. You're making the montage for the YouTube channel. I'm trying to win with Sora today, bro. I'm trying to win. <laughs> it's gonna be good content. All right, here we go. We move back to okay, Battlefield. Yeah, okay, quick damage, Baron's jab. Makes sense for the weight class of Chrom. Oh my god. Okay, I don't know if he hard read that um, uh, at spot dodge or if he really tried to go for that. Really. Is this the forbidden Chrom tech we've all been waiting for? For Chrom tech? What are you <laughs> referring to? I don't know. My man called out an air dodge. How is that a tech? No, no, not it, like the, the technology. Never mind. Where is the technology exactly? I don't know. But all I know is that Krom's in a good position here. Now, Palutena, difficult to edge guard, we know, but uh, okay. managed to catch with the grab. Yeah, yeah, that was good. Okay. Off stage catching, again. Catching the counter. Not gonna go for an edge Almost guard. Almost catches the uppy whipping. That's good. Okay, anything? Oh, what a weird dash, and it works? Um, interesting. Mix up okay. of the century. We're gonna do the losers round one now. Uh, we're gonna have 2D Prince versus... Uh, okay, okay, great punish. Uh, Waiting for the shield. jab to space out his shield before going for the up -beat. Very smart by Hamza. Another good up -beat. punishing that up, that up forward smash onto his shield yet again. Oh, almost caught it with a punish yet a third time. Not quite. Good job fast falling right there yeah, to avoid, very, very good avoid the explosive flame. Oh boy, I love that stream delay. Oh, oh man, yeah. I see I see that up throw in the slideshow. Okay. And we're back into the motions. We're back into 6080p, 60 60 FPS, 1080p. Another solar flame, another explosive flame. Okay, that's not death. Oh man, okay. yep. Hamza's still in it. Yeah, I mean, eventually Emmy will get the hang of this timing when it comes to the uh, when it comes to the ledge trapping using explosive flame. Unless Hamza's able to figure out when and how to sweet spot oh, that's the ledge. Back throw, the and back throw mid stage at Battlefield. Oh, Maybe yeah. kill there. Palutena's know. got a pretty strong back throw. Certainly, but I've never seen it from that far away. Kill, exactly. I'm just not sure how he DI'd that one. Oh, but dropped to the poor timing. Ah, uh, okay. I mean, because they capitalized a lot more on that athlete. one, but he's still got a good point off Continuing to build his percent. The shield. Holding a good position here, yeah. putting Palutena up in the air. Can he get the read? Oh, this I can change for some reason. That's weird. Okay. Hmm. Continuing this up, continuing this juggling. Palutena struggling to land. Oh, but okay, man, yeah, to call this advantage. Yeah. And here we go. Palutena. Oh, Ooh. never mind. The ledge trapping not strong Another enough. Another whip. Oh no! Don't let off it happen! Top? Don't let it happen! Okay. Don't okay. let it be you, Hamza. All right. Mm, that's Ooh, a penalty. Wrong way. Yeah. Wrong way. Yeah. Again, it's just when you have such an incredible option out of shield that's incredibly fast and high damaging as well as good spacing, you're gonna inevitably capitalize on it a little too much in moments where it's either just not the right option or where a moment it's just not gonna connect. And Hans is currently in that state of mind right now where, hey, shield being touched, awkward, awkward, special. It's gonna work, and I totally get it, man. I play Samus. I'm playing Sora too. I totally get it. I mean, he Bowser player again. <laughs> yes, you, you, yeah, you know more than anybody. Oh, what am I trying oh, to say? Of course, I'm an expert. I got my degree in that sort of thing. Man, I gotta take a nice class for that one, don't I? All right, up and away. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> the I double guess, grab with. I can definitely see why you wanted to go for up after the up air to maybe catch the air dodge. But in that situation, it would be better to continue that with the up air because most of the time it's a cooler extension. At the very least, it's a tighter frame to hit it on in comparison to the up tilt. Or it's like looser, uh, looser frame to hit it on. Hmm. Okay, oh, any? Okay. Oh, okay, that oh, was that was really good from Hamza. That was a good play. He's like spacing himself out with the forward air and then down tilting, waiting for a reaction to get up and then immediately grabbing when he saw he was holding shields. Very good stuff. Like legit, the best bit of play I've seen today. Oh, oh and Krom's infamous F smash. I have no in clue. Like a truck. No clue if I saw that air dog from Emmy right there getting called out, or if he was just landed straight onto his onto his space, just like the last game with Hamza trying to recover by simply just drifting back into the stage where Emmy edge guarded with the back air. But either way, good stuff. 
Yeah, I'm not sure why this isn't updating. The bells are tuning in. It's oh, wait, hold on. I, 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 I think there's an update button. Hold on. Oh, that explains it. There it Hi, is. There. Wow, I love technology. It's like you gotta update your phone with a button, you update mm -hmm. the scoreboard with a button, you update the, the, the freaking uh, bracket with a button, of despite, course you gotta use a button. Despite this incredible technology, we lowly Smash players... We don't advance. We do not. We display an inability to use basic technology, folks. Ooga this is the way. Ooga bunga, ooga bunga. Okay, ooga bunga indeed. I agree. Very well made point. Moving on to game three now. Back again on Back Battlefield. Battlefield. Back again. again. Okay, uh, yep. yep, repeat of the beginning of game two. Who do you think gets more out of the stage, Krom or Palutena? I would say they both get an equal amount of coverage when it comes to extending their combos, as well as the fact that, no, now that I think about it, actually Palutena would probably get even more mileage off of it, because one, she can use the platform to plop, I mean, to, to uh, ledge cancel from her up like she just did right there, and two, she can cover a lot more space that Krom might be trying to occupy with her, both her neutral B as well as her side B. Oh, okay, really good spot dodge, catching, I think catching the grab off guard. Oh, missing dash grab. Oh, man, he had the right idea at least. He's starting to get a feel for when Emmy whoops her up these. He's starting to get a feel for it. Okay, catching a win yet again. Ooh. Oh, yo, classic, Nair 1 into yeah, F smash, classic. That's the Hamza I know, alright. All right, yeah, this is a great advantage so far for Hamza. Okay, right now Hamza he's, a dominating he's really, point. really got a good advantage here currently. He is getting in there. Like he's like, he, like you see that he's calling out the four lanes of the aerials. He's just spacing himself up properly while resuming pressure at a safe distance. He caught the jump, so now there's nothing for her to land with. And this okay, is, but she gets and away. And this is part of the trick with Chrom. He gets in your head and he hits you with five aerials. It's insane how fast it can be. Oh, manages to get out of range. Okay. Back in neutral now. Okay. Yet yeah, another good down tilt to just space himself out, exude pressure, and then immediately punish with a forward tilt. Very cool to see. We forgot the update button. Yeah, we're smart like that. <laughs> oh, okay. very intelligent. Mm, damn. Another whiffed upbeat. How is he gonna land? Okay, that time he trying to call out what could have been maybe an air dodge down. But I haven't seen either one of these opponents use an air. Oh, speaking of which, I'm sorry. Uh, the very first air dodge of the entire game down to the stage. Wow, <laughs> what a landing mix up in comparison to the entirety of the set. Oh wow, that delta surprisingly didn't connect. Must have been when Palutena was still airborne. All right, those don't know. Yeah, that super armor is very active on Krom's uppy, save for Ikes, as well as Roy's out of shield. Well, it has to be grounded to be fair for Roy's, but still, it's very powerful. So something we haven't seen. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm not sure seen. what Anza was pulling out right there. I think it was an F smash, but Palutena just pulled it out a little sooner. Ooh, going for an F smash, but it's not gonna land. Ooh. Not managing to punish. Okay, this is a clean punish. Just quick nair. Oh, and yep, another one! Again. You'll love to see it! Can he kick a third and final stock of his winner's run with a nair forward smash? So something smash? I'm noticing we're not seeing from Meshi is the nair loops that Palutena usually does. Yeah, certainly! I don't see why like she would restrict herself like this. Her arrows are extremely safe. Even if they whip, as long as she spaces herself out accordingly and goes for another arrow right after that, even if it whips or is on shield, then she can keep it going. Like, like right there, like that was prime material for another nair. But instead she opted to go for the easier auto combo of nair into, into jab when landing with the nair. Yeah, and unfortunately this might... Now, that being said, taking back the lead, another explosive flame. Oh, there it is, nair taking her off stage. Ooh. Neck and neck here. Yeah, right, right now, ooh, Hamza swinging, Big but that smash. will definitely Big cause a punish. Put just 20%. All right, back to the slideshow. Um, take your predictions. Um, uh, I think Hamza's going to take stock in we're gonna come three, back to the stage and two, one. Oh, yeah, yeah, you know, you know, it almost looks like that, though. Okay, I was predicting we were going to come back to an Overwatch stream, but, I mean, who knows? You got to go? Yeah, I'm soon now here. Oh, well, thanks for your help in the meantime, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I'll let's see. You, see. I'll see you in a few days. Again, just throwing out moves in neutral, hoping to connect something that will take them do, bro. See ya. back to take them to the next round. Okay, that's oh, gonna be a back throw. Here, back throw. All right, there we go. That's more like not killing mid stage. Here. Oh, Ooh. good air dodge to avoid the explosive Very flame. Good air dodge. Okay, wow. Okay, catching the air dodge. F tilt. He has a he not not jump. not not committing too hard to anything here. Hamza. Oh, he caught oh, the roll with the pivot back. forward tilt. Yeah, good stuff, the Hamza. Taking it two one yes. over Emmy. Very solid performance from both players. But Hamza advancing to the next round. <laughs> I love you, Hamza. Woo. We love you, Hamza! Hamza, have my babies. <laughs> so, now in between uh, this set, uh, let's have a little bit of a talk right here. Or talking? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
tell me why we shouldn't okay, legalize warrior. Uh, uh, I don't feel like dying at 20% off the side every exchange. Oh. Okay, but I feel like killing at 20% off the side. Well, I feel like you should have fun playing that stage while I go play. All right, Vernie's going to stream. This is going to be a treat, folks. For those of you who don't know, Vernie is a well-known player in the New Jersey area. It's going to be so interesting to see who he whips out. Welcome back. Well, I cannot see. Uh, oh, yeah, that that one is. <laughs> we don't have a Sora icon. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so that's actually interesting, folks. Yeah, Vernius has been labbing Sora, and I've heard it's nasty, but I've not seen it for myself. We're gonna see what he's have to, what he's able to do with the character. Let's go! Really? You don't hate me? No, two cameras with rivalry, okay? You guys are right here. Previously, what we've seen from Vernius characters like Pit, Kirby, uh, the occasional. Who else did he play? Violet. Violet, occasionally, yes. He beats me with all three of them, it's not fair. But, uh, apparently, like I said, Sora. We're actually go all the way down. We're gonna get our first taste on stream here at the tournament. Oh, oh, Mark. get him. Dude, Sandbag top tier, I'm telling you. Sandbag. Bro, are you, are you, he has no way of getting out of these combos. How dude, could he be dude, good? No, Sandbag's top tier, what are you talking about? <laughs> I had such a fun first, I had such a fun match, but then just ends my miss input. Yeah, you hate to see it, really and truly. You don't have to deal with that, you're Bowser. I mean, true, but like... If I miss some inputs, I might take it, like 20%. Yeah, exactly. 20%, that's, that's nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, if I take 80, I still have like another 80% to go before I reasonably die. So it's like the same thing. Sora versus King K. Rool. Now, folks, if I'm being honest, I don't know if K. Rool has a great match here, look. but we'll see. K. Rool, look, 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 this is the man, this is the man who does, this is the man who, who engages in, in hardcore rivalry. He's gonna win. Okay, okay. <laughs> so I'll be honest, I'm not entirely sure how to commentate here, because well, I don't know anything about Sora. Yeah, well, this is, well, this is uh, well. So, so, so here's the thing you need to know. He, uh, um, if you can't kill him, he's recovering to the stage. Oh, there it is. That's the one I've seen on Twitter. He's got the forward air, fast fall into F smash. I'm sorry. Did he already take a stock? Yeah, I mean it's K rule. It's a, it's it's a big boy. It's fair. easy for Sora to to combo a big boy. That's entirely expect? fair. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm fireball. All right. You know, oh, can you can you say fuck Animal Crossing? I hate that series. What? Why? I, I hate it. <laughs> but, but why? It's so friendly. I just don't like it. Yo, what's going on? Alright. I, I was expecting that to counter, just like... That's a weird one. The up smash following the down tilt. Interesting. Interesting choice of punish. I would have thought up tilt would be a better one, but... He, I, he, he, he was probably expecting him to break out already. Oh, that's true, that's true. So it was just that he didn't break out. Okay, I gotcha. And he's gonna be dead again because Sora can oh. go for it. Well, hey, oh, let's go. Okay. Let's go, Nick. <laughs> Interesting. At one one. Let's now. go, anime. <laughs> I have bias for let's go anime. Spacing around the shield, but I crossing him up, I, using I, I, down tilt and up tilt to keep him up in the air. I mean, this is. I mean, Kiro um, hates to be here. He um, hates to be stuck um, in the air. I mean, that's just Mithra. Already at one oh one. Um, um, I mean that's Mithra for it. Like, she, she can she can come out tilt all fucking day. It's mm. just better chic. Yeah, that's true. Let me see here. All right, Carol. Oh, Carol, building for some percent though. Somehow. You know, he can end games really fast. Well, one, yeah, one, we, yeah, one, just one down air. One well, spiker back air, exactly. So we'll see how this goes. Oh, if the cannonball. If almost that cannonball hit, he, he actually would have died. I know. Yeah, I know this. This is anyone's game right now. I'm really not Possibly, sure how this is gonna go. But I think. <laughs> oh, but there it is. The five years of end lag on that move. <laughs> oh, and he also he said yeah, he said he had a double jump. It's bribing time, baby. I 
I would just like to remind the audience that bribing is legal in Smash Hornets. Let's go in Rampo Smash. No, it's not. It absolutely is. Do you have Bakugan in your That's collusion. <laughs> we have folks, folks, unprecedented. We have bribery in the middle of the set. What do you mean? We just we just did this two hours ago. One dollar, a Bakugan, promotional Pokemon card. No, we're sponsored. We're sponsored. We're sponsored by Pornhub.com and Vernius. Vernius, the man of character and honor, refusing the bribe. Whoa. Oh shit! Doubling the ante. Oh my god! I'm gonna see something. <laughs> oh, folks, folks, the Bakugan is the t is defective. This is huge. This could be the difference. How do I feel? Yeah. Truly, taking the taking the hungry Brox approach here. Oh, but it doesn't work. Vernius sticks to his guns. Man of principle. Gonna take him. See my Bakugan. Gonna take him to game two. I can't believe he refused. Will Will Vernius lose and regret this? We will find out. Yeah, dude, the Bakugan though was too good. You're not invited, Adam. Oh, what? Okay, can I get Moon Man and Andy? Moon Man and Andy. Let's go, Moon Man. Moon Man and Andy. Dude, Dance Top came to cost. All right, so, game so starting. Back on Sora versus K. Roll. We'll Ruby see dominant. what happens. Wait, back to the match. I mean, well, hey, look, hey, look, look, look. Like when it comes to bribe, when it comes to bribery, <laughs> it, um, um, it can only happen in Rampo Smash tournaments because That's it's true. because 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 we're all just so we're just so we're all just idiots. So so we just solve, Folks, fall for the dumbest shit. There is a dog in the room. This is this is also unprecedented. Is it is it Brian Goldberg? Oh, hold on a second. I think we should probably yeah yeah it's Brian Goldberg. We should probably get the dog out of here. As funny as it is, are we fine? Never mind, what folks. We're fine. Doing? Or excuse me, um, um, if I could pardon me, uh, for all for uh, for, uh, for for all the uh, for for all the people watching at home. What a dog doing! So I would like to confirm there is a very cute dog in the room right now. What a dog doing! I want to go play with him, but I'm on commentary. This There's is my curse. Nothing stopping you. I have to do commentary. Unfortunate. Now, Bernie is taking the first stock. Using that, oh, fire's gonna beat out the uh, the suck gun there, whatever you want to call it. Interesting. Now see, we're seeing uh, Vernius use his electricity there. I don't actually think he wanted to land it though. I think he wants to cycle through, get back to the fire maybe. Or maybe he has some plans for the ice move, we're gonna see. Oh, back in slideshow mode. Gonna eat a fat up there, but he's not gonna die from it. We love to see trying time travel. Ooh, gonna punish that with a back throw. Now Sora, Oh, he's not gonna get the edge guard, okay. Down throw, up tilt. Classic from Kayla. Who won, Steve? What's good? Who, who, Steve, who won? Oh, I love the back air. Back air spikes are meaty. Oh, who won? yeah. Oh, I, I told him, let's go, Rob. Dude, back air spikes are just oh, so mean. Oh, down air is not gonna get through that K roll up beat, though. Hitting with another up tilt. This one's surprisingly close. I thought this would be over by now. Gonna hit him with the ice, carry him up a little bit. Hoping to get the ice to break, but it doesn't. Look, no. No, dude, K roll. Ooh, takes him down again. Dude, the K roll back airs, the back air meteors are just meaty, and I love them. Oh, okay, but taking it down now, it's a 1 1, 0%. This Yo, could fuck my go. This could be the last we see of K rule, at least before it goes into losers. I mean, well, losers, losers don't go on stream, so. That's I mean, true. we can, but. Yeah, usually we I don't. could, but. Yeah. Usually we don't. Using side B to get back, getting hit by the crown. Oh, comes in with a slide. Really good dash attack on Sora, by the way. Reminds me of Mario's. 
Well, we don't have a Mario player anymore. There's someone, I think. Mario Maniac, he plays Bowser. <laughs> no, no, I think there's someone else who plays Mario, I'm not sure. But anyway, now... I get Jackson, Jackson and Starburst. That would be me, folks. I will have to see you later and leave it over to Carp. Carp, best of luck. I am here. I am alone. What up, gamers? The better commentators here. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Nintendo Nick, Nintendo Nick taking game two. Let's go, K. Rool. You should have taken the bribe. I'm telling you, bro. Jackson is, is, Jackson is deep. Yeah, no, so, no, so we have uh, a test gambling ring here available. Of course we do. But, and, and of course, the, of course, the best, but the best course of action here is to, do, do, do you stick to your morals or, or do you take the bribe? Uh, twi uh, Twitch chat, let me know. Dude, we had two Bakugan, two dollars, and two Pokemon cards. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, I mean, two Bakugan, two Pokemon cards. And two dollars. Chat, what do you think? I can't see it. Can I get 2D prints and risotto? You guys are going to be in the fifth row. Fifth row where I am, please. Looking for the bracket. Let's go, K rule. Let's go, K rule. Well, I have to go, gamers. So I shall. Um, so I shall leave you in the hands of a of a very important. Um. Uh, I'm not fine. I'll, I'll panic. Can you take over for a few minutes? Hey, Brainiac vs. Nintendo Nick. Oh, he's playing Pivot. I thought he was playing Sora. Yeah, he looks like Sora from the character portrait. He's K Rule with the up air kill. Is the mic on? Interesting. Yeah, the mic is on. Hi, YouTube. I just missed Ooh. it there. Well, I just missed this. Well, upper dash arm for the kill. Nice job to the Pit player and the K Rule player. Yeah. Did not take the bribe. Upper dash arm. Way better in Smash Bros than it was in Kid Icarus Uprising. Look at Pit. You like Kid Icarus? I do like Kid Icarus. Kid Icarus is sick. It was one of the best games of the 3DS, I think. Yeah, probably. Bernie, as it was lagging that first stock, you got that clip. Space Dog versus. Nick is a force. Nick is a force of nature. Nick will find a way to tell. That's pretty funny. It's rare to see any pit player at all. 
um, much less one who is very good at Smash Bros, but it looks like this one is here. Yes, Vernius is a really good pit player. He actually plays Pit and Kirby. Really? And he's like the second best person in club. Yeah. Vernius is pretty good. I would not expect that, but... Yeah, neither did I. <laughs> Maybe I'll play with this. Have any of you on the stream ever heard of Nikki is short? Row five, last call. I heard he was a chef. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, Kale is cap. Look at him, he's clapping. He's clapping. What do you think he's saying? I think he's saying Pit, I hate you. Probably. <laughs> who's who's on the street setup? For those who are listening on the stream, um, I mentioned earlier the upper dash arm from Kid Icarus Uprising. There are many varieties of weapons that you can use in that game, and arms are very good at close range, but bad at long range. So, yeah, I, I wasn't really going anywhere with that, but it's just a bit of background knowledge. Big Pharma? Like that? Another one? Next match, Big Pharma versus Space Boy on the stream. Oh, that's a cool thing. Thank you. If there are any Guilty Gear players in the chat, uh, press 1 if you hate May. <laughs> press 2 if you don't hate May. If I see any 2s, I'll be disappointed. like I'm fighting whoever wins between Numboss and Lemon Pepsi. It's scary, because I heard that that Lemon Pepsi guy got pretty far in the melee bracket. Yeah, I think he got up to top four. Yeah. <laughs> Fortunately, melee is a different game than Ultimate, and True. I will simply use my How to Play 101 skills. Is anyone typing in the chat? Do you know? Uh, I can check. Why should we not be that? No, no, no. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Just me waffle tearing through the losers bracket. I think he's going to make it up to back to, up to the grand finals. Oh, what's up, Peter? I see you. Okay, can I get J-Mac in October 23rd on third row, please? Peter, I hear you. J-Mac in October 23rd. Yes, that is the day I'm looking at you right there. Peter, your competition ran away if you came out of a Dairy Queen. Just to let you know for the money match. J-Mac in October 23rd, right here. <laughs> Darn Peter, my money's on you. Don't tell Pat that. 
Money. Pat, Pat will know if you watch the FOD, but I don't think he has. Or if he's on the stream. If there's a Pat he in the chat. He is a coward, you're right. If there's a Pat in the chat, please speak up. I highly doubt there's any Pats in the chat. Okay, can I get Numboss and Ooh, this is the match that determines who I will fight next. Exciting. I hope both of them lose. Double KO kind of situation, you know? I heard, did I hear that right? What? Oh my. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. Oh my gosh. No, mine's set correctly. I just got my beat. It looks like the players in this match on stream have decided to go random with their characters, but one of them managed to roll their main. Yeah, Pretty if, fortuitous for him. That's like one out of like 80... How many characters are in this game? A bunch. One out of 83 percent. One out of 83 percent. We'll see if he will come through with his main or if his opponent will overcome the odds. You know the lag over here? The power points? Sick. Mantle or something? Yeah, you're right. Right now, it looks like Isabel is at a very high percent. Ooh, the perfect shield um, F tilt, I'm pretty sure that was. Trying to edge guard, get her off the stage. Throwing out the slingshots for dear life. Trying to get some percent lead back. Planting the, the gyroid. Ooh, the bait was set, but it was not taken. And the up air from Ice Climbers. Take out Isabel. Still insane how there's Ooh. 83 characters and he actually just got his main. That is insane. Uh, so Fellow commentator Hamza. Yeah. Oh, the stream is slowing down. Which means we'll be able to see this match in higher detail. Oh, Isabel's frozen off the stage, but she can recover really well. She's off. She's back. Trying to do the happy birthday. Interrupts the smash attack. Hits Nana with the slingshot, but not Popo. Gets frozen and hit with the... Ooh, F smash. Throwing out the slingshots. Ice Climber using both characters. Nana makes it back on the stage. The F smash from Isabel does not hit, but the grab does. Very well shielded, but the return attack comes out. Ice Climber is throwing slingshots like his life depends on it. And because it does. Yeah, probably. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> oh, unfortunately. This is looking rough for the Isabel. Gets the get-up attack. Plants the gyroid right in front of his opponent's face. The side B does not hit. And it will be ended with the fair. We shall see if these players decide to play their real characters, or if they decide to go random again. <laughs> you, you think the serial is safe? Of course it is. <laughs> Everything is safe. <laughs> it's Disney. <laughs> Disney is a safe company. It's all safe. <laughs> it's all safe. Okay, can I get oh, Daisy versus Peach. Ooh, the story Peach matchup. Is. Peach throwing out the turnips, Daisy expertly avoiding them. Ooh, the fair into the down throw, into Nair. Do you know Peach stuff? Uh, I played Peach for a little bit, but I, I don't, don't know, know combos. Yeah, I don't, I don't know anything about Peach combos. I'm trying to try my best over here. 
I know some stuff, like, yeah, I know that. Yeah, down throw into back air is typically a pretty safe bet. Throwing out the turnips to get some percent. Throwing upwards, but it doesn't land on anyone's head. Let's see how many bombs are pulled up in this match. Considering the odds from last match, it seems pretty likely that a bob bomb is going to turn up eventually. The turnips are being thrown from both sides. This is like a middle school lunch fight. Yeah, I love turnips for lunch. They're actually not very good. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if you sell them on the stage. Hmm? I wonder if you sell the turnips. That's a reference to Animal Crossing, if anyone in the chat did not get it. <laughs> Any Animal Crossers in the chat say, um... Say I love Rossetti, or I love uh, KK Slider, depending on who you actually love. Peach trying to go with the F smash, but the Daisy retaliating with the dash attack. Ooh, the up air does not hit, but the throw does connect. F throw does not quite kill, but it's looking pretty tough for the Peach. Good down smash. Good down smash, that's Hamza. The lag over here. Oh, something just killed Peach, but I couldn't quite tell what it was. I think it was death. Oh, the aerial down air into the dash attack. Oh, but the back air is countered. Oh, the aerial turnip. The juggling. Oh. <laughs> Throwing the turnips to try to snipe Daisy out of the sky. Down smash connects and Daisy dies. Any Mr. Saturn lovers in the chat? He's a pretty cool guy. Yeah, I'm a big fan of Mr. Saturn. Mr. Saturn is great. Yeah. He should be a playable fighter in Smash Bros. Maybe the next one. Alright, I'm us. Exactly. Right, I got a little PowerPoint action going on over here, but it looks like they're just kind of looks like having arrows at each other. Looks like Peach is on the back foot, desperately trying to recover to the stage to try to mount a, a counter attack. Ooh, oh, but nice. Daisy with the SD. Maybe this thing, maybe maybe this will turn things around for the Peach player. Getting the combo. Patiently waiting in shield on the platform above the stage. Jab doesn't hit, but parry. Ooh, hit by the F tool. The umbrella from up B hits. Back us up a bit. Because it detects everything. Install. I think Big Homer realizes that he doesn't need to approach. That is the case. Very yeah. astute observation from Hanzo. Ooh, this is a tricky situation. Oh, the Ooh. umbrella hits. Is that up here? No, it's down, smash it's out down shield. Smash. And that is... not killing yet. Okay, oh, looks like we're back. Ooh, down, down tilt. tilt. You know, I know one thing about Peach that I know is, uh, there is a phrase called down tilt to imagination. But I haven't seen much right here, though. Oh, but good. good thing the we got a uh, stitch face the stitch uh, turn face. I do like stitch. It looks like we're going to game three of this set. I was wrong. We are not going to a third game of this set. Yep, it was a clean 2-0. Clean 2-0 from the random set. Very entertaining to watch. You threw the first one away. Okay, for our next streaming match, we're gonna have Gurnius versus Floppy Fail. 
Vernius versus Floppy Fail next Vernius on the stream. Floppy Fail, you guys are gonna be on stream. If I recall correctly, I think Vernius is the Pit and Kirby player. We will see shortly if that's the case. Oh, this is OBS? No. This is Apple. Okay. So, um... No, 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 what are we doing now? Vernius? You want to type that in? Yeah. And then... Uh, uh, then... Uh, well, no one did, but it's like, no, it's like, yeah. I mean, he's in scores, wins, so you just make sure they're not checked. And then, um, the round, make sure that's correct, so this is round with half orders. Floppy Phil! What, what character are you gonna play? Oh, that's sick. Uh, okay. uh, some chairs are probably broken, so just pick a pick a good one. All right. Are we? If, if he's going Sora, we don't have Sora. Okay. So okay. You can hit Smash Ultimate. Okay. Uh, wait. How, how do I change the uh, thing? Oh, this. Yep. Okay. Okay. I don't. I don't know who's commentating. Okay. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Vernius, are you playing? Uh, Sora. Sora? Okay. Uh, Hanza, is this three to five or... No? Oh. Two, two out of three, right? Okay. Am I able to have another commentator with me if I choose someone? Z! Z! Matt! Matt Z! Zed! Space Boy. Space Boy. Come down the comment, come down the comment. David wants it. So you know when you're starting, you just pull up this. Yeah. Okay. Over here, commentate? Mm -hmm. oh. I chose it. Just talk from here. Oh, this is scuffed. This is such a scuffed setup. Okay. Uh, so we got Sora. Sora versus Dark Samus here. Um, uh, probably a terrible <laughs> matchup for Dark Samus. I have no idea. This character's new as hell. Uh, but Sora, I've seen that he, uh, he has some interesting tools that he can use. He has a lot of combo potential with his, uh, first hits. He, uh, he's got a ridiculous neutral B. It's three things. <laughs> uh, Hero gets 20, but, you know, we don't talk about that. I, I think it's more easier for Sora to utilize all those abilities. Like, Fire, he can, like, try to space out a little bit, and Thunder, he can... I mean, Thunder's really good off stage. Like, if you, if you even when you're jumping with it, 
it can do so much damage and it's so close to you I meaning you can get really easy jukes off of it right um but it's a predictable selection too you're always going to get the same one same way yeah so so it's e easier to pretty much utilize these tools to make Sora more effective you know and especially how floaty Sora is like he can just jump over everything you know? oh yeah he is sword <laughs> jigglypuff Sora jigglypuff we found that was meta knight that is not the case Ooh. Oh, uh, okay but he is going to be able to threaten off stage a great deal. And right oh, there, wow. you saw not only did he reverse a potential reversal edge guard, but he got him back out there and almost killed him with the up B. So. Yeah, oh, wow, nice dodge. We're getting a very good display of Sora's edge guarding capabilities. However, a very well spaced back air catches what I believe was a roll. Oh, space ball. Yeah, that works. Oh, caught the up out of shield. That up air, pretty decent kill power. But, uh, oh, Shrimp's lagging a little bit. Uh, up, 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 jumping, jumping, jumping. Jumping, floaty, five frames. <laughs> oh, oh, there, there we, we go. go, there we go. There we go. <laughs> okay, ooh, good catch right there for Samus. Good fair. Ooh, wow, getting all Just a lot damage. of really good, um, I think, spacing by the Dark Samus here. Really throwing out these moves at the right spacings to really mess up Vernius. Pichotazo Muñeño. Tapaso. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Ooh. So really nice little Sora combo. The thing about it is like floatiness and how his uh, his his uh, hitboxes sort of stay out there is they can sort of stall out the the stalling that Samus tries. Oh, I missed an opportunity to punish that there with sword sword smash. It's weird though, you know, new character. You don't know the frame data. You don't know what you can punish. So you're probably going to see a lot of instances of that. Ooh, he smash dodge. attacks on my shield. Can I punish that? I don't know. Could he be Game & Watch? He could be Bowser. It's, nobody knows. So Sora's main killing tools right now when it comes to, you know, killing or even off stage is going to definitely be the fares, the three combo fares, of course. And even that mm -hmm. up air is really dangerous. Right. Don't even get me started about the dare. The dare is such a good option to edge guard, especially in a more diagonal sense. Mm -hmm. So honestly, like, I'm, I'm really the like the play. too. He has a lot of options off stage, so he can really throw stuff out. Mm -hmm. Usually you can't contest. Oh, um, nice up tilt. Catches, a, catches him Ooh. out there. All right, still, still gets the dash in. Usually it's a little hard to contest Samus off stage. You're a little afraid, but... Oh, oh wow. wow! That was nice. What a hitbox right there. That was the very edge, and it killed pretty solidly. Oh, okay, go, okay, going to fair combo. Good 17 out there. Nice. Very consistent damage, I'd say, from Vernius. He's kind of just making sure he can always keep up with these hits. Oh, good combo. Down tilt, up tilt. That stuff's always going to work. You can always go for an up air as well. I get that usually about 30, 40 damage, which is really nice. Especially at low mm -hmm. percent. Ooh. Gets himself out of the ledge trap situation with a random grab, but the up tilt, that move is doing a lot of work for Vernius right now. He's got to be really careful with that up tilt because that's going to leave him really vulnerable. And that's what he's doing right now. You know, he's really trying to use those moves that are like really stalling him, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. you know? He really wants to, you know, oh, oh good back here. Wow. Tech check. Really nice. I can see from that last stock there, Vernius had a, did a very good job of kind of throwing a lot of stuff at him. Floppy. He didn't really seem to know what to do. I saw him, you know, there was a perfect opportunity to punish a mid-stage Thundaga there, and he just ended up F-tilting, which got caught on shield. He could have gotten a lot more off that. Uh, Floppy. Oh, no, sorry, Vernius, Vernius, Sora. Oh, yeah, yeah, Vernius, my bad, my bad. Sorry. wins, and then you have and then it'll pop up up here. Cool, thanks, man. So, I would say for next round, what I think, what I think Floppy, oh, I'm sorry, what I think Floppy really needs to do mm -hmm. is he, and he's doing well with the projectiles, which is really good. And I right. feel like Sora is really good at dodging them, but when it comes to landing down, I think that's going to be the problem for Sora is trying to utilize his movement. Absolutely. Um, Just like Jigglypuff, mm -hmm. the landings are going to be a little awkward now. It's and you be can rough. really throw out a hitbox in that space where he's trying to land, and he's going to get a little scared there. He's, uh, he's going to have a problem getting down. Right. Okay, so we're going Sora and Dark Samus again. Um, we're going back uh, to Battlefield. Battlefield, interesting. Okay. I assume he banned FD, so that makes sense. Is there a Kalos in this stage set? I'm not aware. I do not believe so, no. I think we don't have Kalos right now. All right, so I'd say an, an advantageous stage list for Sora, more or less, yeah, at least in this matchup. With all the platforms Sora has, he mm -hmm. has so many options for movement. And a lot of a lot of safe. Oh, oh! An unfortunate SD by Floppy there. He got hit by the first hit F tilt. Mm -hmm. That has a surprising amount of hits done. I've seen the clips. Yeah. There we go. Down tilt, up tilt, or reliable. Uh, 
Definitely getting a good picture of what Sora can do from Vernius. But here we are with the with the the special moves mid stage where I see Floppy just not punishing what seems like it should be pretty punishable there. The Thundaga. Yeah, the Thundaga can be easily pun and you can literally just roll right through it. Of course. You really can. It's you know it's it's Pretty easy. Frame one, of course. Even if you're holding shield, you'll just get right on the other side of it. Ooh, good catch right there. Caught off that air dodge right there. Oh, so great close. call out. Just slightly misspaced, slightly mistimed. Ah, uh, I like the heart. The hard missile there is a great call because it calls out Sora's attempts at the side. Ooh, and very close. Floppy to keeping an advantage here. This could be really good for him if he can capitalize. Oh. He got multiple opportunities here to get this punish, but he just can't seem to seal it. I think uh, an up throw with a little bit of rage might do it even. Vernius really trying to keep his distance right now, and he's doing a. Ooh, oh, he can punish that right there if he can. Oh! Ooh. Okay, see, okay. you can see that Floppy has a good idea of the timing, but he's just slightly off. He knew that uh, he could catch Vernius before he transitioned into the side view, but he was just a little bit off. Yeah. Ooh, oh, takes it. excellent. You know, but, but he's doing, Floppy's, I think he's doing a good job still. I think he just needs to try to utilize his tool a little bit more, in my opinion. Excellent um, dip by Vernius there, kind of baiting him to the Thundaga even. Catching yeah. his attempt oh, at wow, punishing. nice combo right there. That's 40. Tacking on some good percent. And Ooh, down air, up air. Ooh, good out. Down tilt, up tilt is just doing so much work for this character. You could still follow that up with an up air, though, and get some pretty good decent damage mm -hmm. in. Uh, but he's taking good advantage of the platforms, though. Seems to be taking away every time. Yeah. But Vernius is doing a really good job of just keeping, of keeping flopping the air. Like, he's just utilizing all of his mm -hmm. techniques, which is good. Um, you gotta be careful with that sonic dash, though. I mean, you can, you can obviously use that. Ooh. There we go, finally. Uh, yeah, he gets that punish right there. Vernius has kind of been uh, in his face with those and finally gets a yeah. good punish. And, and Vernius has got to be really careful right there when he's using the Sonic. I haven't seen him really try to use it once or twice to even just get back on stage, but just mm -hmm. completely just fight. Uh, there we go. Catches him with the normal get up. The up tilt's going to do it. Now we're seeing Floppy play a little bit more solidly. If he can maintain this lead, he could really do good things. Wow, really Ooh, nice right there. Great call out. And he's coming, he's coming right back. Everything Ooh, is he's turning coming right back. Right now. Oh, well, Floppy can definitely take this match, I feel. Um, Bit of an unfortunate trade. Floppy kind of got Ooh. a little stunted out there. Gotta be a little careful there. A little too close. Oh. Another mistimed punish. Ooh. Very Good close shot. here. I'm being called for a match, but I do want to finish commentating this match at least. I feel like I feel like Floppy can. Oh, no, no, man. Another messed up punish. He's had so many opportunities at this point. He really could have. I feel like. I think he has a very good idea of how to punch the Sonic Dash. He's just a little off. Oh, a little scared. Oh, that's gonna do it. Oh, no, that's not gonna do it. Oh, that was a close shot right there. Close shot right there. Very close. I'd say Ooh. Floppy's still an advantage, but oh, oh wow. he has yeah, to get the dirt is, like that. Yeah, he's running really good DI right now, I feel. Oh, only the very tiniest charge. Can, can Samus kill with, with one of her... With her throws? Well, yeah, we'll yes, up throw will kill, and he gets and it. And takes it, oh. There really, we go. Really good match right there. I feel like that was a great match. Like, Floppy was kind of struggling there, but he just came right back. Mm -hmm. He just, like, like, just like my dad come back to the, you know, the house when he said he was getting out of milk, you know what I mean? Oh, did he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He actually came back for once. I'm happy for you. I'm yeah, glad but that was three years later. <laughs> <laughs> but no, that was a great match, by the way. I actually really enjoyed that match. I think Excellent. it was really interesting we'll to see. We'll just update the score yeah. here. Yep, so it's 1-1 one, one right now with Vernice and Flop. Um, honestly, I, I love seeing great Sora play. Sora mm -hmm. is, like... In my, I mean, I wanted Sora since like day one of Smash Bros. Like four. Um, that was awesome. That was a great match. Uh, Absolutely. I'm, I'm really curious to see where they're gonna go for third match. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they're gonna go back to Battlefield or I'm thinking about FG. Uh, I don't know. I have to think that Vernius is a little yeah, nervous yeah. now. I I feel like Sora obviously isn't his main considering mm -hmm. how short he's been out. Mm -hmm. I don't know if he's planning on switching back to his normal character. I, I don't, I'm not too sure. He either. might be feeling the. Oh, hey, right, sticking with Sora. Okay. All right, Let's see there. what stage he chooses in this. Okay. All right. This is, this is exciting. I feel like they kind of feel. Oh, okay. So they're gonna go for two stage battlefield. 
Oh, they, okay, small battlefield. Interesting I, choice. I feel like this may hurt Sora a little bit since he loses that top platform right mm -hmm. there. Um, since Samus can just keep throwing out projectiles. Um, but um, I don't know. I'm, I'm optimistic. I mean, both are playing really well. I can't say that mm -hmm. you know I'm rooting for one person because they're doing both great jobs. To I, be I fair, that. both of them can do a pretty good job at camping each other out, considering mm -hmm. the toolkits they have available to them. So yeah, if Vernius feels more comfortable with this pick, he can definitely do a lot better. And right now. I'd say he's still maintaining a pretty strong lead, keeping an advantage. Mm -hmm. Although, Floppy is doing a very good job of keeping him off him as well. Some good footsies, Ooh. but uh, finally a whiff that Floppy can take advantage of. Ooh. Ooh. See, we're, we're starting to see these situations where Floppy wasn't so sure before, trying to punish these special moves. He's getting them right I now. Floppy just really felt Bernie himself. He's like really felt him. Absolutely. He, these Sonic dashes too, you know, this this move that everyone was so scared of, Ooh. they thought Bayonetta 2.0. That's a little scary right there. Oh, uh, and can you even punish it? Oh, man. You can see the moments where it's punishable. And, uh, oh, offstage situation here. The up B drops? Bit of a surprise there. I was, I was not expecting that. Yeah, that was a scary honest. situation. Absolutely. I feel like, made it back. I feel like what Floppy needs to do. He needs to bait out from Doug. Oh, nice. Very nice, nice. Good catch right there. After <laughs> two flubbed attempts at a punish by Vernius, Floppy kind of brings it back. Ooh, good. Got Went very there. far out there, which is great. You got to take advantage of Sora's offstage toolkit. 100%, okay. yeah. He absolutely did it right there. This is honestly really interesting. I'm actually having a lot of fun with this, you know. No, I'm glad to see it. It's um, a lot of interesting play right here. Oh, Damn. great punish up the other shield. Doesn't have to stress it that much. Gotta watch out for the up air chains, though. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Yeah, Floppy just really holding advantage really well. Does the Nairo roll to ledge behind you? Uh, puts himself in the corner, but he's not really feeling that bad about it just yet. Okay. Good, good right there on Vernius for not using the third Sonic dash. You know, he took his time right there. I like that. Mixing up the timing a little, mm -hmm. uh, making it so that Floppy can't just wait it out or have something prepared to punish him with it. Yeah. Um, I would like to see uh, maybe a little more usage of the hard missile oh, by Floppy, wow, but that was nice. great confirm there. I, I think that was a confirm. One, one hit of up air to back air, and it seals the stock. I think so, yeah. Who? Well, he's just keeping Floppy off stage. Floppy's just going to get right back on there. Great yeah. avoidance of the Thundaga sort of just drifted toward the side, mm. trusting that oh, Bernie is going to have oh, time. Damn, look at that. No DI on that, it seems. He sailed right past the stage. Mm -hmm. Uh, a good DI in a sense, because that let Floppy avoid the stage, but uh, oh. he ended up going off the top. Good read on the roll right there. Yeah, keeping an advantage here. Oh, just a back throw once again, I'm off stage. Uh, that's where Floppy's been winning a lot of these situations, forcing Vernius off stage, burning his resources, uh, forcing him into situations where he can really predict the outcome. Like right there, catches an approach with forward air. Oh, Excellent okay. part of the Samus toolkit. It's Sonic Dash right there. No Ooh. forward air? I thought you could... Uh, do normals after the Sonic Dash, is that true? What's up? Can you do normals after the Sonic Dash? No, no, you're, you're, you're no. Okay. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, so, so he's not, he's not quite Bayonetta. Yeah, yeah, so he has to be really careful when using that. Ooh, Catches a gosh. quick dash in right quick there, dash. and that's going to be 2 That was one a great match, by the way. I have Floppy. to say, like, I just loved how, like, you know, Floppy, for example, was doing a great job using all the tools at first, eh, kind of, but after that, like, he was getting really familiar, like, with playing against the Sora. But the Sora was still playing well as well. I mean, absolutely. you know, I mean, Samus does have more tools to space Sora out a little bit, especially with the floatiness, mm -hmm. but he was doing a great job of keeping those air combos going, especially those up airs. Those were looking really fresh. And I, honestly, <laughs> that was awesome. Mm -hmm. um, Glad to see. Very fun match. Yeah. Uh, we'll be back with some more, although you'll have different heads on the mic because i got to play a match now. All right. Well, good luck, man. Over. Yeah, great match.
I guess I'll still be on stream uh, to commentate. Hope everyone's having a great day so far. I know we are. Um, can, I get, can I get you on the setup back there with the Space Boy? Hey Hamza, can I get my computer? Thank you. Who's going on stream next? Well, I think I'm pretty sure we know. Who, I'm pretty sure we know who. I, I don't. Can I get Darkin and Moon Man on the stream setup? Yeah, we got one set of projectors. It's been hours. Darkin and Moon Man. Moon Man himself. Moon Man. I found Moon Uh, who are you guys playing? Who are you guys playing? What character? You're playing Kazuya? Yeah. I'm gonna head out now, okay? And who are you playing? Yeah, I'm gonna head out. Who? Ridley? Okay. Mind if I jump in for uh, screen cons? Yeah, go ahead. Give me one sec. Yep, no problem. Uh, who, who's the other guy he's playing? No, the other guy. I literally, I don't even want to play. I don't think Okay, so currently we have Darkin versus Moon Man. Uh, Darkin's gonna be running with Kazuya. With Kazuya, Kazuya is very unique in terms of getting out actual really good combos, which is pretty awesome. And then we got Moon Man, of course, who's gonna rely on a lot of spacing tools, and of course Grab, which is gonna be really nice. Um, what's your name? Uh, you can just put like Tempest Mask, and then uh, one word, or you could. Do you want to do one word or both words? Yeah. Whatever you like. Okay. 
They just started the match. We weren't ready yet. You're good. Okay, so... All right. First off, a uh, quick uh, reintroduction. My name is Tempest Mask, a.k.a. Mask of Gale, and uh, I'll be joining commentary. So here we got Moon Man versus Darken. And uh, Moon Man wielding oh the God. big dragon Ridley as he takes a huge drop almost down. Oh, can't even get a quick introduction to the fighters here. And uh, Darken meeting Kazuya Mishima. Oh, nice throw right there. So uh, here we got Ridley trying to get in quite a bit of damage here. He's also sporting his Omega Ridley armor, if I'm not mistaken. Nice, nice color choice. Ooh, getting launched a bit though. We got some eye beams from Kazuya and oh, bam! Good, good smash right there. Yeah. So what's your take on this match, Elios? Uh, so right now, it definitely with Darken. He is really trying to keep the pressure on right now against uh, Moon Man. Like Darken is trying to go in, take combos, really trying to punish any type of landing option he really has, of course. Um, ooh, okay. Oh, I don't. I don't think he's gonna make it back from that. Probably not. No, yeah. No, no, no. Oh, okay. the the we, the draw of. Wielding a fighting character to the to the field. Oh wow! Oh my gosh! That was a little nasty right there. Moon Man's currently in the lead right now with two stocks ahead, which is awesome. Oh, almost popping that shield. Keeping it going though, the two trying to stand their ground. Kazuya's really trying to get it hit in there, but really it's just keeping him back. He's just not letting him come through, and he's taking damage off. Trying to use a little mid-air devil attack. Mm -hmm. Oh man, Ooh. look at that toss. Really right. trying to get some flapping in. Oh, good neutral right there. You can definitely recover from that one though. Just requires a bit of a launch in order for that next stock to go down. Ridley could do just about anything though. One major hit and that could be it for Kazuya here. Oh, wow, that was Ooh. dangerous. That was a that, great grab right there. Very nice. Great grab right there. Dangerous, but great. <laughs> Man with the dread sponsorship. <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's awesome. I don't even know if Ridley shows up in dread. I don't think he does either. <laughs> um, Shout out to Kraid though. Anyway, so here we got a little dragon. Oh. It's a, is it enough to finish him off? Not quite, but it looks like he could. Oh, oh. that'll do it. No, no. It's not. he's still he's in. Still... Oh, oh no! Oh wow! That he gets recovery. Back. That was sick. You know, he can still take it back. I bet. Absolutely. Oh, no. oh. But it's all it, it's it's anyone's game at this point though. One major hit and now. Oh, be it. No, that's oh, it. that's it. That right there. That's down. No, Darken Dark got him right there. Darken Darken with the recovery, and that's game one for Darken. Both played played really well there. Kazuya was really getting a lot of damage in during the first game, of, uh, during the first like few stocks, of course. Absolutely. But then I feel like Moon Man was definitely trying to analyze those moves and just keeping him back. But just Darken just came right back, came right back, got that heavy damage out. That's scary about Kazuya. Absolutely. Scary. No kidding. All right, let's see what. Let's where they go. Oh God, Scatter Moses. Oh, that, could, that, <laughs> that was a little scary. Imagine that. <laughs> I mean, hey, nothing nothing against Omega stages when needed. Uh, it looks like we got Town and City, though. Town and City. Oh, uh, yeah. I think they're going to be staying with their characters. Dark is still going to uh, yeah. And Moon still going to go Ridley. Okay. Let's see what skins we got coming up as we get the at the classic loading screen. All right. So it's same one zero. Both, yeah, one zero. And, yeah, it looks like they got the same silver, grayish uh, schemes going on right there. Planning a little uh, mint right there, I suppose. <laughs> We got Space Ooh. Pirates Dragon Captain versus uh, Company CEO. Company CEO. <laughs> well, he is a, he is technically, last time I checked, in charge of the Mishima business. I believe so. Ooh, good grab there on Moon. And how the heck this dragon can even speak a single word to Space Pirates when all we do is hear him roar? I have no idea. 
But yeah, we oh, got to... that grab is just killing Darkin right there. Now keep in mind, even with no stage stage hazards in in consideration for these stages, the platforms will still move. Mm -hmm. So that is one thing that the uh, fight that our uh, combatants here might keep in mind. I feel like that's going to be more beneficial to Moon, especially since he has a lot of more jumps and he can usually use his tools to space exactly. him out a little bit. So Darkin's got to be a little careful here. Um, I got to agree with you but there. But he, he's still doing a great job of trying to keep him off stage. Oh, man. nice little flight tackle right there from mm -hmm. Yonder. Now, at any given point, Moonman could try to use the tail swipe when the opportunity is right, but otherwise its effectiveness is not as good. He could try to line up the tip, though, to get the stun in and then go for a big hit. But against Kazuya, that could prove to be a bad move, because I'm pretty sure one of those moves is a counter, right? Uh, for Kazuya? I'm not sure. I don't, I don't think... Maybe I not. Gonna... I could have my logic wrong his, his, there. His, his down B is a grab, that I know. That. It's that whole, like, like the demon grab, right. which is pretty sick. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, Tekken... I think so. For Tekken to show up in Smash is quite a surprise for me, but definitely one that I would think is well-deserved. Uh, yeah, exactly. Just like Sora. Sora was such a well-deserved character to get into Smash. I can't believe, though, that it was Kazuya as compared to Jin. Yeah. I mean, Jin's an awesome character. Ooh, Ooh good very right kick. Yeah, digression of uh, lore and characters aside, this those two are really kicking it up. But uh, Kazuya here with the damage going on, and this could Ooh. this could really mean bad news for him. Kazuya can get some nasty damage right here if he utilizes his demon arc correctly. It's only a matter of knowing whether or not he can avoid oh, no. the big hits, but that is not going to happen here. He's one mm -hmm. stock down, and Moon Man could tie it up. Okay, got some few hits in. Ooh, a little scary right there for Ridley. Oh, man. Oh, but he just gets the grab in. Darkin really needs to kind of try to space himself out because he can get some major damage if he's able to predict how he's going to grab. Yeah, the, pun um, the punishment here can also come from, like, the grab at used as it for tactical purposes because Moon Man technically could do the scummy tech and just drag him on down considering he's got one extra stock. Yeah. As you may know, SD moves in Smash Ultimate work where... This time around, the character that initiates the move goes down first before the KO applies to the opponent. Therefore, Moon Man could do the little slam dunk and shave off his stock first before Kazuya then goes bye-bye. Mm -hmm. But it looks like that ain't happening. It looks like these two are oh, going down and right on Moon Man tying it up. I think one thing I usually see Kazuya uh, utilize that I feel like Darkin's not doing is that recovery is really, really powerful. Especially when, like, Moon Man is right on top of him, I feel like he can just mix it up and throw a recovery right in there and just take him right out of the state. I'd have to agree. That, like, is pretty sick. Oh, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> um, but both players are playing really well here. Uh, I'm loving the gameplay between both. Like, I just love seeing a Kazuya in general, and seeing a Ridley is also pretty fun to see as well. Yeah. From my perspective, I've known Moon Man for as long as I've been here, and he's always been one of the um, one of the spicy players to see, whether it be through trick, through trap, or whatnot. And you may you may recall him under the name Atlas Sh Atlas Shrugged, uh, my man over there, doing his best. Taking on the new alias ever since I don't know when. Maybe I should ask him afterward, but here we go. Who's passing this out? That was Jack. Who's passing this out? Oh, uh, okay. I hope this is like All right, final ours. match. We're going on to Pokemon little... Stadium 2. Don't want to have that on. Let's like... see okay. who takes this one home. Yeah. Okay, um, so Tempest matches ran off quick bat. But seeing it right here, um, oh, okay, Kazi is getting some good hits in, but really he's going to counter back with a lot of his jabs right there. Um, Kazi making safely back to stage. Ooh, a little scary right there. Oh, both hit for a game stop right there. Both players are really playing very tactical right here, which I like. Uh, ooh, oh, wow, heavy damage right there. That grab was really nice. Good time. But Darkin's playing really, he's trying to play kind of safe right here. He really should try spacing that new man a little bit more. Ooh, good pack there right there. I'm not sure if, uh, oh, a little early time. Okay. Ooh, good down air right there. Uh, very nice. Pretty, pretty fresh are you going right to do this? Yeah, I'm gonna... I was going to finish it, sorry. Okay, good grab there from Kazuya. Oh, catches him with the neutral. I don't think he was able to go for it again. 
Ooh, dangerous situation here. Anything can kill anyone. Oh, and really just, get the backer. Yeah, I just want to say that the music choice for this final match between the two right now couldn't be any more fitting. That be Cynthia's champion battle theme from Pokemon Whoa. Diamond and Pearl. PTSD. Oh, dude. PTSD. She may be one of the toughest champions, but she's also one of the best in my opinion, and not just from not just looks alone. Bad memories or not. She made her mark, and it's only fair to get recognized in the yeah. music. She's my favorite champion so far, next to Steven, honestly. Heck yeah. Yeah. So with that said, we do want to uh, make a quick mention that we are in the winner's quarters. One of these two will be jumping into the loser's bracket, which is, should still be going on concurrently. Mm -hmm. At this very moment, we do have uh, quite a bunch of other fighters that deserve their own shout-outs fighting behind us. I know I was one of those people earlier. And uh, you know it all be it all be good respect and nothing but GGs to all Ooh. them being here, a little scary doing right what there. they can, just like Moon Man right there, coming up with the flight, not letting the uh, SmackDown bring him to the gap. Anyone stock here, honestly? They're bon Ooh, good on Kazuya. Very nice indeed. All right, so we only got one last stock here for Ridley. Moon Man could very well lose this match if Kazuya plays his cards right, but no, oh, I didn't think that was going to happen. He was looking stop. a bit weak, and if only he managed to dodge that one, but no, got toasted. We got a few more devil attacks coming up, though. The, it could be anyone's game. Both have shown that... Yeah, both have shown to be very, very capable and on their feet. Mm -hmm. Dark in here. Anyone's game. I feel like Darkin could have the advantage if he managed to get a few heavy hits in there, even a few uh, grabs, but he is not currently doing his best to avoid the punishing end of Ridley's tail here. Just a few devil attacks to try and pressure him. This could very well be Moon Man, though. Kazuya on the receiving end, but now trying to bring the fight back. Ooh, some tail stabs. Oh, uh, wow. Let's see how it all goes. We could be having our winner in just a second, but look at that! Oh, Whoa! Oh, oh, nice, oh, 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 nice recovery right there for Kazuya. Whoa! I'm getting a bit tongue-tied. And we could have our finishing hit. Let's see it. Ah! Oh, stabbed by the tail. Moon Man takes the match. Darken. Dropping into the loser's bracket, but big GG's to both fighters right there. That was nothing but spectacular. Just a reminder, you all are watching uh, the Ramapo Smat -O Smash Club Tournament, the first order of business event, and we will be uh, right back with the next match very shortly. All right, folks, we're going to have a bit of a commentator switch. Uh, you'll probably hear me just a bit more in the background, if not back up sooner, but we'll see. Otherwise, my name is Tempest Mask, a.k.a. Steve, and you'll be seeing me pass it on to the wonderful Vinny and our fighter from just a moment ago, Perry the Moon Man. Take it away, guys. Hey, how's it going? I'm Moon Man. Moon Man. Resident legend for being a meme. And also being the only guy crazy enough to actually play Ridley. Who's Moon Man? Who is Moon Man? That's the question. Yeah, that was that was a pretty tough match. I'm I'm still sad about that first match where like I got the crazy early kill and then fucking threw it away because he like lived like three percent longer than he should have. Actually crazy. But you know what? It was it was a good match. That I'm not sure you guys could tell, but both of us were sweating. We were like, I'm sweating. We right were now. so nervous. That's, that's like I could tell last talk. I looked over and I saw him like do like the the breathe in thing. All of a sudden, it's like I'm just like, oh shit, it's time to go. Anyways, on to the next match. We got 
Vice President versus President. Oh, but oh, which one is which? Oh, the Ramaphos mask. This is the fight for who's the real president. All right, looks like Brom is coming out for Hamza, mm -hmm. as we predicted on our transition here. Oh and, yeah. Uh, Pink Pink Bowser coming out. Crom Bowser. Now my gut tells me that this is probably a Crom favorite matchup, but you know you never know. Bowser can just be dumb sometimes. Got to make sure the tags are correct. Uh, oh, he's he's upped in his controls for the secret tech. <laughs> oh, let's go. Oh, so the winner of this makes top eight. Yeah, winner side to fight me. Actually. All that matters is top eight. Nothing else. <laughs> true, very true. Oh. Oh. Top eight matters even more than who's going to battlefield. Ooh, Battlefield. I know, I know Bowser likes Battlefield. I think Kron, uh, rather, might also be a decent Battlefield character. So this is a pretty neutral stage for both of them. Just all around good. All right, here we go. Oh, there the oh immediate fire breath, because why not? And both these players just do not want to approach each other. They both know that they do with nutty damage, and neither person lost that. Oh, wait, this is a small battlefield, not battlefield, not crazy. Hmm. Now, I do believe Hamza can catch Steven these crombos. But on the other hand, Bowser like does like nearly 20 with one hit. And also Fire Breath. That move is dumb. Fire Breath can like do 40 if you get hit with the whole thing. Oh, but... Yeah, Fire Breath does like 40%, right? Yeah, it does something absurd. Now, I think Bowser will actually die to one F smash now. He is in the kill range. So Hamza is just gonna... Oh, and there's the up -y. Just really good out of shield damage. Not necessarily great at killing mid-stage, but... You just get so much damage. Oh, and... I think yep. there was an F smash there. Yep. That's gonna be the just first raw stock F smash. For, uh... And you see here the strength of Bowser, he just lives forever. He just never dies, ever. Bowser being the heaviest character in the game. Oh, having nice. some nice some... reverse up here. Nice. Or, uh, up air, rather. Oh, you gotta be careful with that landing hitbox of the down air, for Ooh. sure. Now this is... I'm just gonna need to kill this fast, because that extra percent really matters for Bowser. Yeah, he's looking for a forward tilt here, he's looking for a nice aerial. Oh. Oh, yeah. that. Down That'll air. work. Down air. Just raw down air. Down air will do it. You see, Fire Breath does do absurd damage, but also is punishable as heck. Hamza is at a percentage deficit here, but Krom can just kind of steal a stop sometimes. This is the one. We're playing WarioWare Bracket. Sign ups are uh, like... Breaking news. They have a WarioWare Bracket now. Kind of <laughs> nutty. Like, are we starting a bracket at like seven o'clock? Yeah, that dude needs to chill. Well, it is Nate. Nate has no chill. <laughs> Anyways, on to the match. Hamza's, uh, oh, that's not good. Yeah, that'll do it. Yeah, no, that was some bad DI right there. He definitely, he probably got a little, little bit longer. I don't I'm know, sure. man. But he, oh, oh ooh, but he per evens it right up. He's perfectly looking. spaced so that he would miss the getup attack. He just looks like Jackson going for uh, a lot of those getup attacks uh, because Bowser has actually one of the biggest getup attacks in the game. Oh yeah, it's, it's huge. He'd scoop a lot of people if they're not ready just for scoop. it. Oh, here we go. Oh, I think that's it. Unless? Nah. That is it. He needs to be careful of going low and he got called out for it. Yeah. Bowser's fair really sweeping that up. Oh yeah. Jean has this uh, very like... Jean loves just runoff fair. It covers so much space and it's like, it's fairly fast too. Like, you won't like think about it until it happens to you. And you're like, wow, that covered all my options. Bowser Fair, huge like that. It's really good at gimping and stuff like that. So pretty much what he Hamza wanted to do there, once he got hit by that fair, he wanted to air dodge, then use his double jump. Yeah. He didn't want to use in the opposite order either because then he would get stuffed. Yep. Yeah, Krom means they gotta Gotta play with their recovery very uh his his, his, his Kron's directional air dodge has a lot of drift. 
It does. So you got to use it, it for really your does. advantage. Yeah. You, you just want this whole bag? This is why I play Ridley, so I don't have to worry about recovery at all. I just have so much of it. He's going to try to go Krom again. Yeah. I was talking to Hamza earlier. He did seem pretty dedicated to Krom's tournament. After that, I guess. Let's go in. Yeah. Me and Hardy. But we're going to town and city. This is a bigger stage so they could uh, space each other out. Yeah, and it also means they're going to be dying a bit later. Which could go either way, honestly. The side blast zones on town and city are actually oh closer my, to the list than every other stage. How oh, are they? Interesting. So yeah, from like because the stage is kind of longer, and this, the blast zones don't compensate for it. So oh, that's interesting. So yeah, they, I always assume they did. The closest ratio from side side of the stage to the oh, edge, uh, and he gets that was there. unfortunate. Just barely. Yeah. Well, Krom, you have to have your recovery on point to play. But yeah. his neutral is subpar. Krom is like you have to be consistently winning neutral because like he gets punished for losing neutral so hard, just because of his recovery is just garbage. Oh. oh. Okay, he armored through that, but he needs he to... He still took, like, 25%. He needs to even Wait, it up here. hello? That was invaded. Bazzer's got this. He's got a high, a high double jump. It's pretty fast. Oh, he's just trying to psych comes out at this point. Now, John just, like, just playing it real slow. Oh. You know, like, he's in the lead Ooh. now. It's his game. That was some risky DI. I think you might have died super early, Fee. Like that? Oh. Yeah, like that. <laughs> like that. That was some risky DI. You gotta be careful if you're mashing out. You I, Like, it depends on where you are. But if you're holding the stick while you're mashing out and he throws you, you're gonna get that mixed Ooh. up the eye. You see, Jean's what I like to call in the Bowser mode, or like not Bowser, but heavy mode, mm -hmm. which is where heavies do way better when your opponent is scared. Yes, and you're just snowballing damage. Yeah, because they give you way too much room, room that you should not be given. They just give it to you because they're just scared. Like Bowser's got a lot of lag, but like if you're scared of him, that the lag isn't really gonna matter much. And this is looking like oh. Lag. Looking or... laggy. Uh oh. Oh, that's an upbeat. Okay. All right. Neither player's lost a stock. Oh. Oh wow. Caught, hit... caught him slipping. Does that hit all characters with ledge? I would assume so. Probably not like the ones with the really good ledge hang, but. All right. Yeah, so Dang, he was right next to him, and that guy missed. All right, Hamza oh. on his last licks here. All right, what, oh. and the Bowser down there are gonna do it. I was gonna it. say what Hamza needs to do is just play really lame. Yeah, you gotta go one hit and then reset. You can't you can't fish for that second hit because he overextended yeah. there and you got down. Yeah, that's what I was doing against uh, Darken because I figured like you know what, kazuya has got way too many good combos. I just need to lame out, <laughs> and I, then I did. I lamed him out very hard. All right, but yeah, good match. We're moving on to the top eight soon. Let's go. Oh boy. Don't worry, Hamza, you got the losers run back. Bowser's not okay. Bowser's kind of dumb. Well, it looks like it's just me. Here to remind you that Moon Man is in fact based. I think you might be on stream there. Oh, am I back on stream? Possibly. Oh, it looks like I might be fighting Floppy next. Samus versus Ridley. Oh, the, the cannon match. Oh. Dark Samus versus Ridley, actually. So not truly oh. cannon. Oh, boy. Honestly, not sure if this is a good or bad matchup. Because on one hand, uh, Ridley has like way better spacing tools and like actual combos. But on the other hand, I'm just lame it out.
like, I saw it on the thumbnail. Ladies and gentlemen, alright, we're starting top eight. Can I get Floppy Bell and Moon Man on the street? That's the Bloody Bell Man. Alright, so we're starting top eight. Can I get Floppy Bell and Moon Man on the street? Okay, guys. I got the Um. Uh, ask Hamza. Just uh, ask Hamza. I Do you want to commentate? Uh, I'm, I'm glad to be All right. All good. Yeah, I want I mean, I'll be back you, did you find Hamza? Because we yeah, need him. Yeah, yeah. Like, is this pro controller is connected? Hamza! Your pro controller is connected. Uh, John, is your pro controller connected? Or Steven? Not really. All right, all right. Sorry for the slight delay there, but welcome back. We're back in and uh, once again, my name is Tempest Mask. I got Elios with me. Yeah. And we are commentating now for, once again, Moon Man going into the winner semis against Floppy Fall. We got Ridley versus Dark Samus. Okay, so, so far, Dark Samus losing a stock. Ridley at a fairly high percentile going on here. But. Um, looks like he got the drag. Ooh. Yep, there we go. Dark Sam is trying to use that grapple, putting him to the side, giving him the big blast, and should be... Boom. Could have been a dunk, but avoided. Got some flame breathing and some jumping around. Trying to lay the bomb here, catches him. Good nice movement there from Flop right there. Absolutely. All right. Ooh, scary situation there. I think he was trying to bait Dark Samus. Could have very well been intentional. Ooh, tried to risky use, there. Yeah, it's attempted Our to use man. the tail stab right there, only to uh, nearly make it had it not been for that jump. Ooh, oh, nice. Got kicked to the face. Good hit there. Oh, seemed to be a kick. Oh, over the stream lag. Yep. Pardon the, pardon the drop frames, oh, folks. We're, we'll there. be right <laughs> back. Yeah, there it is. Okay. All right, getting Ooh, a flame good press right there. into Ooh. the face. Very nice. Let's see what else the Moon Man can do to pull the win. Looks, this is looking like his, his match so far. Giving a little bit of uh, damage there, though. Dark Samus trying to go in for the uh, offensive. Ooh, missed by the grab. Trying to do another little uh, 
Ooh. understage baiting, apparently. Yeah, he's really pressuring Moon Man right there. Oh, hit him right there with the special. Oh, good Ooh. kick right there. Really took him out. I'd still say Moon Man has the advantage, though. But one oh. big punish could easily set that aside. Yeah, Ridley can get some pretty heavy damage, especially if it's a grab. So, Flop's got to be really kind of careful here. This could be it. We just need one more big hit. Ooh, oh man, good charge shot right there. Trying to get some projectiles to push him. It seems like it's working. One oh. super missile leading it. Ew, Those shielded, but leading into some uh, shots. Oh, and there goes the drag. Oh, I'm not sure. That's a kill. No, Ooh. no, he's coming back. Let's see it. Getting a little screw attack to get back in. And then, what do we got next? What's the next move? Oh, One I big hit to trying. end it. Who's it gonna be? Ooh, really close right there. Oh. Really close. Oh, oh my oh, god! Dad. Nice dodge. That was dodge. scary, that miss right there on the drag. And, oh, and this could be it. it there. Yep. Mm, oh, yeah. Wow, nice that was one. really tense match there between them. Really, really tense. I'm sure both of them were like feeling pretty tense right there in that situation. I could imagine. <laughs> I've been in that situation plenty of times before. Nicely done, though. A yeah. little Dark Samus representation right there. Now, I'm assuming Flop is best versed in the Samuses. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, from, what I've, from what I can tell here, definitely within his element. We're gonna see. Uh, we're gonna see. I, I totally missed what stage that was, though. Looks like we are jumping back into the match, and it will be at oh, we're Battlefield. Ba ba right to Battlefield. Okay. All right, here we go. And it looks like we got a bit of a color change coming in from Ridley here. Yeah, Ridley's getting some quick damage in right there. Ooh, he sheds his mecha armor back. for some natural skin. Ooh. Good movement right there. Really, Absolutely. really take. Moon Man's really taking his time right there, which I really like. Oh wow, see the trying how much to he's dodging. Yeah, so Moon Man could have had the victory in the last fight, but Ooh. took just a bit too much damage trying to get in close. So the caution right there at the very beginning is definitely the right play to go mm. from that mm -hmm. first round. Ooh, catches him on the on the ledge grab right there. Very nice. Oh, and a failed screw attack. Oh, you hate to see it. Yeah. It's a pretty hard situation for Flop right there, honestly, but. Um, Looking pretty good for Moon Man, honestly. Just a quick shout out to the melee targets theme, a classic, <laughs> a big classic jam. Ooh, scary predicament right there. Really scary to be under Samus like that. And get some heavy damage off that with some good knockback. Absolutely. Oh, oh my God, that is so scary. Oh, but it failed. He, he failed to grab. Oh, this puts this puts Flop at a huge disadvantage here. Even though it looks like. Ake, uh, Moon Man could easily lose that stock right there. Flop can still probably get that stock off him, but he's still going to probably have some pretty high or moderate or high damage there. And considering so. that Moon Man took quite a bit of damage the last time, I still think he's going to try and keep that caution in mind. But mm -hmm. right now, he's de he definitely got a bit stuck there. Yeah, he's got Moon Man's got to be a little careful there. But he's, either way, Moon Man's playing pretty good right here. Absolutely. And uh, honestly, it's really in the favor of Moon Man at the moment, so he could definitely take it easily, I feel. Oh, he's going for the drag. Oh, man. Oh, and tries to keep him down with the, with the jab, but it's not going to work. All right, we got a bit of a super missile right there. Tries oh. to fire the dark shot. Metroid Prime He's trying to be the, the big rolls. brain in the suit. Oh, man, really? Moon Man's got to be really careful right here. This could be a pretty nasty one. One big hit will take Flop out, and we'll have Moon Man tied up. But it looks like he could very well get knocked here at any given point, which means if Flop keeps up the offensive, oh. Oh, when then he gets it out of the could drag. be his game. Down it. Oh, the up throw's not going to do it, but I feel like next time he gets that up throw, it's not going to look good for Ridley. Yeah, that can be the stock right there. But it's such a close match right now, but it's really in Moon Man's favor, depending on what he's going to do. Oh, man, look. This could be close. Anyone's game here, really. I say that a lot, but you but it really is true. It always stands to be true. And oh, Flop's nice, take that stock. Nice screw attack. But Flop's not in a good situation Absolutely right now. Absolutely Anything not. can get him off stage, and Ridley can counter that easily. Trying to use the morph ball, morph bombs. 
But the nice thing about I don't know playing Dark Samus is that he has a lot that she has a lot of utility to get back onto stage. So it really depends how good Flop is going to use his his uh, utility to get back on. And, and he's doing a good job so far, you know, from what I'm seeing. Right. He's getting already some heavy damage right there. I mean, already at 66. Like my God. Yeah. 170 to 66. That is. If there is oh. if there is one thing that Flop really knows how to do, it's put on the pressure. And it looks like we're now getting back into even ground. This could be anything. Oh my God. This could be That's Flop's scary. game. Moon Man could be going down with nothing. Oh! But we he manages to pull it in for one more match. So we're gonna move to game three right there, and, and honestly, that my heart my heart was shaking, pounding. My eyes were glued. My eyes were glued. Just a reminder that you guys are watching the first order of business here at Ramapo Smash Club. We got the winners semis, and. Uh, we will have more winners matches coming up on our stream setup right here. Right now though, it's round three between these two and mm -hmm. it is going to be on Battlefield, Battlefield again. again. Battlefield again. The interesting thing that we've been having going is that we do have one of the starter stages, a small battlefield. We haven't really seen that much from what I gather. Mm -mm, we really haven't. Very, very, I, know, I think before we saw, um, I did see Flop go against uh, uh, Ver uh, Vernius with Sora, um, and, and very good player, might I add. Yeah, yeah, and believe it or not, you know, Flop played pretty damn well. Really, really took advantage of Vernius there, but um, still in this match, you know, he, Flop is still doing pretty good, and especially Moon Man right here. You know, they're both tr still trying to I feel like they're maybe trying to feel each other out, but Flop right now I think is really trying to analyze Moon, um, especially with those combos he's been trying to do up in the air. Exactly. Mm -hmm. See, the, the, the moment that Flop gets the advantage, he goes for the offense, he tries to build up the damage more and more. Yeah. It doesn't Dark Samus be like, I don't care about them big hits, just come at me and I will weaken you down and then tear your defenses up and then you are toast. Moon Man took a really good opportunity here to just be patient right there and took a little bit of damage instead of being, you know, possibly getting hit by a missile or even the charge shot right there. Getting um, a few uh, bombs in there to try and edge guard. Yeah, oh wow, that hit him. But we got a charging shot. Oh, uh, this Moon could Man be get the bad. Kill there. This could be this could be a recovery though. And there we go. This could have oh. this could have been this could have been a knockout right for that stock though. Mm -hmm. And Ridley goes flying. Quick lore drop, by the way. I do believe Dark Samus would qualify as he, given the previous life as Metroid Prime, the namesake of the game it comes from. Oh, I didn't know that. I honestly thought it was just some shell it's, of a person. I don't know. Oh, it is. Lore. Believe it or not, it's a possessed Phazon suit that was that Metroid Prime in his dying moments used and then acquired for himself. And so Dark Samus has been a, a very persistent threat. Very nice to see that the fans got what they wanted with Dark Samus being an mm -hmm. Echo Fighter here. Of course. I gotta say it though, much respect Ooh. to normal Samus. We got a big kick back into the match. We got a big kick putting Moon Man in peril here. It looks like Flop could very well take this, but oh, it's uh, takes it with the up here. at least the it up gets snap. a scratch. Yeah, that right there. Yeah. I'm, I'm really, I'm really liking Flop's movement here. Flop is just kind of moving fluidly around the stage, taking his time and really using utility when he really needs to. Um, both, you know, both of them are playing extremely well, honestly. You know, yeah. um, I have, to, I have to honestly say, like, I'm really enjoying this match. Oh, and the drag. Ooh, scary. Moon, Moon Man wanting to uh, try and put more work into uh, play here, not going down that easily. Yeah. Yeah, uh, Moon Man's got to be really careful when he's on that ledge because, you know, Flop can just be, keep throwing out utility and pressuring, you know, Moon. Oh, and the charge right shot's going to take the beast down. Really good match. Very. Floppy really, really match. takes the win. Moon is going to go down to the loser's brackets. And it looks like we got some more action coming your way. Oh. Definitely one of the nice. Oh, we, we might have a bit of a controller change, though. Uh oh, I, 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 think, I think Flop was cheating. I think Flop cheated. Oh, disconnected and just color mid. All right. It's best of three. Yeah, so you're, you're good. Yeah. No problemo. Well, what a <laughs> <laughs> you're good, man. You're what good. a match, though, let me tell you. Definitely some fine play coming from. Yeah. Uh, great, great job on both of you guys. Yeah, absolutely.
Hey there, chat. It's me, Hamza. We got Italian Panda versus Jackson. As you know, Jackson's the Bowser player. Talon Pant, uh, not sure who he's playing. We'll see. Ah. Okay, okay. Very interesting. I never actually. Yeah, what's up, Chris? Chris is my homie. We got Pat Etcher Johnson. This is Bracket right here. I want to say something to chat. Patrick, Patrick Johnson says hi, Vinny. Even though he's right there. You want to commentate with me? Uh, in a bit. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay, uh, going into game one. So yeah, it is going to be Bowser versus uh, Zero Suit right there. Ooh, already. Okay. Ooh, Ooh. didn't really take advantage of that. The advantage of that right there. But, uh, oh, oh, that is scary. Could have gone for yeah, a Panda right got really good movement over there. Mm -hmm. Immediately right off the bat. Good punish right there. Okay. Ooh, very good up air right there. Oh, air dodge is going to take a. Oh, forward smash off ledge. Unfortunately, read from uh, Jackson over here. Mm -hmm. Okay. The movement off Panda is awesome, by the way. Wow, oh, getting the Good movement, but it looks like uh, Jackson's trying to uh, punish that pretty well down and adapt. Yeah, Jackson is definitely taking his time, uh, getting back on stage, and of course, um, trying to... Oh, is that a kill? Yeah. That is a oh, not that's kill not. enough. Remember, Good heaviest character in the game, by the way. Oh, oh, oh. but that will do. Oh, that's going to do it. Good shot by there by Panda, really taking advantage of that and going ahead and using the dunk. Anyone, uh, still anyone here can really make a good, good play. Good punish out of out of shield. Ooh, ooh, scary. <laughs> Jackson's definitely throwing in some pressure there, but Tally Pan is just not taking it. Really, just taking his time to get those hits in. Really spacing himself out, which is really good. Um, we got Alex in the chat who couldn't come, unfortunately. We love you, Alex. Come soon. Oh, slow mo. A bit oh, of a power pump hesitation, but looks like we're back to normal. Yeah, <laughs> three framing right there. <laughs> I think it was good on neutral. Still pretty even right here. Yeah, honestly, this is going anyway. Oh. Ooh. Jackson's got to be a little bit careful when using those uh, smash attacks. Italian Pan is going to really take advantage Good of that. Good up top right here. Mm. <laughs> yep, that's not going to take it right there. Bowser may be at 138 right here, but... Uh... In my opinion, the, the higher percentage he is, the more dangerous. it is, but oh, good yeah. thing uh, Italian Panda is getting that nice kill confirmed. Really interesting things he's doing over here. I've never seen Zero Suit really play up close like this. In person, I mean, not in the game. Mm -hmm. Ooh, getting heavy damage on Ooh. Bowser right there. No jump from uh, Bowser right there, but... Ooh. Italian really is throwing a lot of pressure towards Jackson, I feel, right there. And getting some heavy damage as well. I feel like Jackson at this point maybe just kind of throwing things out. But I feel like now he's just getting right back on track. Yep. Ooh. Ooh, that will not be yet, however, though. Good DI from uh, Time Panda. And that, that's going to be a scary thing right there for Italian Ooh. right there. That grab is going to kill, especially when if he hits it off those, those platforms right there. Jax is definitely looking to close the stock right here. He doesn't want to even entertain the idea mm -hmm. of playing for the neutral. I think Jackson definitely needs to go for some baits here, honestly, because he's just going to keep getting spaced out by Zero's gun right there. Um, like, see, look, look at that. That's just going to keep him off ledge and stuff. Oh, Ooh, it's a back, oh, back air. Is perfect take. back air. Very clean back air right there. Pretty close game over here. But... What's up? 
Alright, cool. Alright, so it's going to be 1-0 one, one right now with Jackson. He did right? it? He just did it? Yeah, he did it. Very good. Yeah, you're good. Yeah, the color counter play. Oh. Sure, Alex, I, I see you. <laughs> I think I was in love doing that before uh, we started, so. <laughs> Alright, getting into game two right here. Again, Bowser versus uh, Zero Suit. We're going right back to Battlefield. Um, I feel like it's going to be a little scary for, uh, for Italian right there, especially if Jackson's going to go with some grabs. Interesting that he took him back to Battlefield. Mm -hmm. And again, Bowser really likes platforms, you know, he was, uh, Jackson was making good use of platforms to punish, like that one time with uh, Up Tilt. Mm -hmm. Especially landing on platforms, it's really dangerous against Bowser. But same could go for with Zero Suit. You know, if you're both, both Zero Suit on a platform, it's quite dangerous. Warrior yes. Bracket in the background, don't mind us. Tampano really looking to close the stock over here, but he's got to play a little bit patient, you know, because he rushed against Bowser. That's like a punish and that's over, but Ooh, good. Good fall. That's clean. Very clean uh, edge guard from there. Oh, wow. Good punish. <laughs> I love Zero's movement right there. That's awesome. Yeah, it's really clean. Oh my gosh, he's yeah, he's, he seems to have an answer to like pretty much every uh most gimmicks, uh not gimmicks. Most option, less trapping option uh Jackson puts out out there. Unfortunately, I don't know what happened there, but Tally may just take this on Oh, oh, oh my god. Let's see what god. happens. The movement right there off ledge was amazing. Oh, just didn't hit it on the platform. Good tech. We're gonna see another power point over here. Bear with us. Ooh. Yeah. You think you know a heavy would have laggy uh, F smashes, but you know that's not really the case with Bowser. A little bit of you know, up the out of shield there from Jackson, but ooh. Okay, too. Tom Pan really going for the cheeky over there, but could come from over here again. The platforms are really dangerous okay. for Bowser. It goes both I'm ways pretty we're easily, we're but out, okay? that'll do yet. Okay. Very clean movement from Time Panda. Okay. I saw the footstool there. I thought some crazy shit was about to happen. Yeah, but that's. Uh, oh, okay. My bad.
It is, it is. Alright, we're back here with Floppy Phil versus the Italian Panto. Yeah, we're ready. I'm um, here with uh, the one only Patrick Johnson. Do I want to what? The, the one only Patrick Johnson. Uh, there's probably a lot of people with that name, but yes. <laughs> I look like Smash, but, but You Rampo, would be though. correct. In Rampo, yes. You would be correct. <laughs> Alright, Hamza, you're gonna have to fill me in here. Um, yeah, no, just like on, just like on everything. I know Vinny's been playing this character for since Smash Four. Really, I had no idea. Yeah, it is from the last match. I just saw his movement was really clean for for sure. I do not know too much about Flop. Is he new? Flop, um, I believe he took some. I think he took Vinny's soft bracket okay. when he was Vinny's playing Sora. So. He's definitely notable, yeah. Very nice. He's only playing Dark Samus? Yeah. Ooh. Parry. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, good punish. Missing the tag. Okay. Yeah, Father's doing, pretty, doing a pretty good job playing neutral over here. Alright, up he had a shield. And it's gonna need a way to somehow get in. Unfortunate, he did not read the right roll. Hopefully, he keeps that in mind for next time. I hate to see that. Is that forward tilt? What was that? Ooh. Good, uh, good, uh, good reaction to just to reject the edge guard there from Floppy Fail. Bro. Nice. Good the recovery. I like the patience Panda is showing over there. I like the patience that we're showing here. <laughs> <laughs> my my brain my brain is processing the match and it's hard to think of what to say right now. Oh my god. That kills? That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. Did he wave that on that platform? No. Okay, I thought I saw that. I mean, why would you? But, you know. <laughs> I'm just curious. All right, let him know the down throw, the down throw forwarder. All right, Vinny. Yeah, let's go. Let him know. I'm gonna be switching sides constantly here. I'm gonna root for who's ever in, dis in who's ever in advantage. <laughs> Yo, let him know. Yo, 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 shoot those missiles. Yo, give him the feet. What do you mean? It's, it's the same person. What do you mean? Ooh, can we close the top over here? I God, if we had a camera, my, my facial expression. I know. <laughs> um, 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 I did it on purpose. <laughs> yeah, Dark Sims is totally saying this. What are you talking about? I want to see stun gun up B. Then you do it for the fans. <laughs> Please do it for the fans. That's a nice idea, shield. Gonna be our shield. A lot of neutral playing over here. A lot of mixes going over here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is yours, right? Yeah, it's mine. How are you doing? No. What? No bueno. No bueno. <laughs> you know. It's a Lenovo. I'm triggered. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
You know why I'm triggered, Hamza? Yeah, I know. Why? Yeah, oh, like, yeah, yeah. You, were on, you were on voice chat, yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, Patrick Johnson does not like Winovas. I don't like Winova. We're just gonna leave you guys with that. Everyone's yep. so confused. <laughs> Ooh, more platforms. Ooh, you like platforms. And I was definitely gonna be able to use that better. And it's also smaller, so oh, that'll be, it'll be harder for the Samus to, to get in. Or keep out, I should say. The keep out? The keep out. Oh, keep out. Be patient from the Samus. Ooh. I really like the spacing with the Zeres. I like the, uh, I like the use of Zer. Yeah. Pretty much her charge smash. Good thing Panda was patient about that. Don't have to spend your attack roll. Okay. Oh, that's not good. Ooh, I don't know what he's. I don't know what he's trying to do there. Now I feel like um, there was a parry there that could have better punish. Uh, yeah, I think he could have punished that better. Yeah. Jeff on commentate. Not really. I'm just here, come here to take. Yeah, Jeff. I don't have much to say. I'm trying to. You know, he just. People, they just, gotta, they just gotta hit the right buttons at the right time, you know how this Yeah, oh no, look, it's PowerPoint time. Good thing we just took a stock. Yeah, I don't think Lasso can handle streaming these uh, tournaments that well. Are you going on stream? Uh, yeah. oh. I'm watching. Well, you know. Wait, is my voice being lagged? I'll see the boss later. Yeah. Check the slippy. Is Milk Wiener still here? No, he left of course. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Yo, the berry. Dark Samus, the final boss of Metroid Prime. One of them. I never played Metroid Prime. Me neither, that's why I asked. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong person to ask. <laughs> Probably. I know I know I know she's in that game. Or he. Or it. Probably it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think it well it's not actually Samus. Yeah. It's a, I, I it's think, a monster. I don't think it is, yeah. Wait, is this Mesh Cannon? Hold on. This is actually just Metroid Dread advertising. <laughs> I heard Metro Joe was a good game. Yeah, I heard it was pretty good. This is just a this is a promotion. Try to do that, yeah. Ooh, that'll do. That will do it. All right, I need to be super critical now. Okay. All right, I'm ready. Town City. Definitely give a lot of more room for uh, Samus to do yeah, stuff. Town City has small sides, right? Left and right? I believe so, yeah. yeah I think that's it's been a minute. Ooh. High ceiling? Low ceiling? I don't remember. Uh, if I'm being completely honest, I don't remember. Yeah, I, remember but yeah. I know it has short sides, so you can get pretty good easy kills from the sides. But it's also pretty big, so you could camp easier in, in neutral. Right. But that early Gempo are really... Uh, that's, that's pretty good. big for, that's yeah, pretty, pretty good, pretty big for fan over here. Oh, yeah, 
Oh my, yo, what the? <laughs> Good grab punish, I suppose. <laughs> supposed to face him. <laughs> oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, dodge read. Oh, I'll find that hit. Let him know. Go let him know. Hit the right button at the right time. Oh, no. Oh, no. no it came a little bit too fast to anticipate. Look at Flop was like, right? I'm an advantage now. <laughs> and you're dead. <laughs> what is this stuff? Yo, this reminds me of another game. Oh, he hit him with the... He hit him with the thing. The next? No, the stun gun up B. Oh, stun gun up B? The smash four. I worked down for like two seconds and this is what happens. Wow. Neither of you get top eight. Did you guys run this bracket correctly? No, just kidding. <laughs> I mean, you guys could fight for top eight. I don't think anyone cares. <laughs> I think Samus is getting down from the air for free pretty much. Samus? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I feel that. Hannah's having a hard time keeping her in the air. Doesn't Samus have low uh, air speed, I'm pretty sure? Samus falls to the ground slowly. I would imagine she has trouble landing. Yeah. If he was higher percent, that would kill. That would 100% <laughs> kill. I barely missed that neutral B. Ooh. Give me that. Nope. Can't go either way. Stocks. Gives out again pretty soon. Ooh. Alright, nice, that's good. Okay. Oh, uh, yep. That'll do it. Unfortunate. Yeah, I'm do it. Is this gonna go to game five? Maybe? Perhaps. It's Perhaps. Grand 2 1. I'd love yep. to see I'd love to see a game five. <laughs> this is winner's finals, every set should go to game five. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As a proper bracket should go. What? As a proper bracket should go. Right, exactly. So they're going same too? Same if two. every game is going if every set is going to game five, you know you guys did a good job, CD. <laughs> 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 You know what I mean, not every set. <laughs> Ooh, and that'll be it. That's still oh, that's close, not, that's not close. Kill. This isn't Smash 4. <laughs> Good read. And that Ooh. is it. Nope, not yet. And nice. that'll be it. Nice, yep, we called it out. The call outs. Are we seeing a little bit of a download over here? What is that? Are we seeing a little bit of a download over here? Download? No, no. Perhaps. Perhaps. No, no, no. I mean, I think. I think uh... Hannah's definitely having a better time punishing. Yeah, I'm thinking. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he's calling things out. Yeah. yeah. He's calling things out. He's gonna. Oh, he didn't there. Oh, I do like yeah, man, they really, games. they really just. This game doesn't, you know, they were scared of Smash Four with everyone killing people, other people off the top. True. And they really just said, yeah, that's not happening. Nobody's able to do that now. <laughs> Good up tilt. Hannah's definitely uh, 
he knows what to do, but just I think that timing is what the problem really is. It's lagging? Oh, when the street. Okay. There. He did it. No, Zare. I called it out. No, he did Zare. Oh, he did? <laughs> yeah, he did Zare. <laughs> Come on. Come on, Panda. Okay. He did, he did, he did air dodge to the ground over there. Somewhat of a wave lander. Pat, Pat's, Pat's going through <laughs> repression. Yep. <laughs> you know, I did, yeah, I did wave dash on stream. In this game? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you can watch the VODs Nice. Later. <laughs> Oof, barely close that out. Did not close that out. <laughs> Honestly, this game could go any anyway, but one we're one uh, kill cup from away from winning the game. Ooh. He had the read, but he just simply then finished that correctly. That's a small shield, man. Seriously, doesn't have a kill throw, does she? I don't think so. No, Maybe? No, think no, he doesn't. So. No, there's no way. Yeah. Back air? Back your kills, hundred percent. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Back your kills, hundred percent. Maybe up tilt. You're setting up for it. Ooh, mm. I think. No, maybe he would have gone. You think, you think forward throw might have been? Uh, I'm not too sure, but yeah, no, I don't no. think so. Ooh, ooh! Love That's that setup. I like the, I like really the like the setup, setup but yeah. I think he might have DI'd out of it. I think he can get it, for sure. Yeah, no, I think Sam is DI'd out of the, it. That's what yeah. happened. Yeah, I think he can still get it, though. Oh, this. Oh, ooh, that that's disheartening. Oh, he's, he's still in. Good, good. Okay. Oh, my gosh. This game's still here. Oh, 200%. That's why DI, folks. Oh, nearly 200%. Uh, okay, maybe kill throws might be a thing at this percent. Yeah, there's no way. Okay. Get up here. Get up there. Good pressure on the shield Seen from there on the platform. Five. Yeah, let's go game five. Wait. Wait. Are we... are we wrong? Is, best, is it not best... Did we... did we, did we miss one game? We suck. <laughs>
very interesting match. I've never seen this before. What the fuck? Oh, oh, sorry. I thought. Yeah. I thought it said good. my name like I was playing. Yeah, <laughs> I <know it's> fine. <laughs> you're good, you're good. <laughs> I was like, what do you mean? <laughs> On the warrior setup, can we get Patrick Johnson? Oh, uh, sorry. I'll move. Well, they'll be down to Patrick, guys. Just I me again. I need someone to take my spot. Eh, Who here. knows things about this game? Can I get in? I'm down. What's up? Hell yeah, commentary. What's your tag? <laughs> What's your tag? Floppy <laughs> fail? This is like the warrior where can I get Patrick Johnson? Alright, we got Floppy Phil with us. Yeah. I can be hurt now. Alright, we have um, Moon Man versus Vernius, which is Ridley something I've never seen. Never seen them play Sora. friendlies, never seen anything with them. First time they're versing each other, I'm really excited actually Ooh. with this match. Both of these players are really, yeah, really good. Of course, really right here. And who am I expecting? Sora? We're getting Sora. I'm gonna Unfortunately, we don't have a Sora icon, so I'm just gonna leave the question mark. We're starting on Battlefield. Pretty good stage for both of them. Okay. Oh, missed Jazz. Is it Luna's Finals? Up tilt, up air bridge. Try to stay at the Thunder, Missy. No edge guard. Well, while, while Vernius is, uh, Sora is, like, a week old, his fundamentals are really good, so I'm not, yeah. I wouldn't be surprised with his performance. And he has been put, playing a lot of Sora, still, just power-wise. And that up smash you need to kill. Very strong, with a good scoop hitbox in the front. Two out of three. I'll change that, yeah. Yeah. Forward throw. Edge guard attempt here. Tries to counter him. The uh, question is does Moon Man know the Sora matchup? The Sora matchup. Fairly new. Very new and quite a weird matchup. Definitely. Yeah, such a floaty character. Floaty character. Oh, I like that edge guard attempt. Oh, that's, but that might that cost might do it. Oh. Unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah, this is a really weird matchup. I personally I, like. I can guarantee you that. Personally, Ridley like this this, this this matchup is you gotta play very differently than other characters yeah. are used to. Ridley needs to abuse that he has more spacing than Sora. Side B off the ledge. Good there. Nair is going to kill. Source still up by good two stocks here. They're stuck in a half. Up tilts. Oh, he gets under. Wow. Someone's been laughing over here. Yeah. And up there, one more of those will kill. Source down tilt leads into many uh, kill confirms. A matter of time. The thunder barely missing. Back air takes it. Yeah, there's something uh, Moon Man's definitely gonna have to adapt to on the fly, or perhaps even counter pick with another character. Yeah. Really weird matchup. We should put for Sora. Who's close enough? Who <laughs> fit? Yeah, fits close enough for Sora. Yeah. Yeah, it's close enough. <laughs> yeah. Same hair. Same hair, decently same size to uh, disjoint. Yeah, that's that's Sora, guys. Pretend that's Sora. I mean, yeah. Portrait looks pretty similar. <laughs> You're not gonna tell the difference. Yeah. Going back to Ridley. Stage pick. <laughs> back to Battlefield. This is grab. There's one thing that can't happen with Sora is edge guards. Virtually impossible with the character. And he's also good at edge guarding, as you can see right here. Yeah, and that forward air, not gonna take it, surprisingly. Now 
That one. Will do. And he's gonna recover. Very for free. strong stuff. Summerhead definitely has a really strong advantage, but something uh, Moomin needs to capitalize on is his, the fact that his disadvantage is frankly terrible. Yeah, he's got so a he's so the, the really hard counter. Really hard counter. Yeah, he just has an infinite uh, all basically. <laughs> Moomin, Moomin definitely needs to press on his advantage. Yeah. Bring out as much as he can out of it. Well, good parry and forward tilt. Side B off ledge again. Yeah, side B off ledge is. I Good personally, I personally don't know how to punish that. Yeah, I think the only thing you really can do against it is shield. Shield he maybe is not parry dead because it is so. Or maybe even a counter, but unfortunately this character. DLC, counter. you paid five ninety nine, you get to recover. Goes for an up gets another side B off stage. Yeah, this is kind of like Kingdom Hearts boss battle. <laughs> Back here. Oh, the counter doesn't work. Fortune and grab lift. Dash attack counter kills. caused the stock. Looking at another three stock to one scenario, just like last game. Down air. Where? He goes up B. Oh, he's going he for, it going all. for it all. And he pays for it. Still a good 60% on Red Leader. Yeah, he's got stocks to spare. He'll, he'll at this point just throw himself out there just to close the game. Oh. Oh, Greed's a peck in place. over here. JV3, very impressive. <laughs> that's it, right? Yeah, that's it. All right, I gotta go play now. Yeah, I got that. Okay. Perry's up over here. There we got Moon Man himself back over here on the mic. How did that match feel? Yeah, so it turns out uh, Sora absolutely annihilates Ridley. Like, definitely a rude matchup for sure. Yeah, I was just kind of talking. Yeah, I was talking about with uh, Varanus just so while ago, but like, Ridley's strength is that he's amazing off stage. But uh, Sora sure. is like way better off stage. Yeah, for sure. Like, he just simply gets out of stage. Really interesting. Not to mention that he's got he's got projectile spam to keep Ridley out. He's got a good amount of combos. He's got air superiority. Man, it's just everything is safe with them. Yeah, honestly, dude, He's, well, all his aerials are so safe on yeah, shield. Sora's, I find a really hard time trying to punish. Sora him. does seem like a really good character, but I think that matchup specifically is pretty bad. No Johns though. I I'm fine with it. Bruh, I haven't used Poke Launcher seriously in over a year and a half. He's refusing the music counterpick. Unreal. The music counterpick goes really I hard, honestly. I haven't played in over a year here. Who even are you? Where's your jacket? Dark Samus. Right you know, I'll put on the jacket. Well, it looks like we're starting. Oh, perfect. Oh, I gotta switch this real quick. Oh, there you are, Perry. <laughs> I gotta put that rumble on. Yeah, we do need rumble. He's like, which, which PC is streaming the game? That one. Oh, that? Yeah, that's streaming that. Are we paused? Are you, 
I need, so you're editing match. Oh, I think it's just a bit of delay. No, that's, yeah. That's OBS. Yeah. Should we go back to commentary or what? Yeah, you gotta go for it. All right, starting the commentary. So, from what I can tell from my match against Sora, this man, he is just really, really good at comboing and just being the god of the air. And, hmm. Honestly, I would say his weaknesses are probably that he can get out camped by actual good projectile characters, and probably just he dies very early. So we're just definitely going to need to see Flop use those weaknesses in order to actually pull out a win here. And oh, he's doing pretty well so far with those missiles and charge shots. But Vernus did get the early stock, yeah, and he's going to get all that extra credit while you watch the sick PowerPoint. Not only is the stream sponsored by Metroid Dead, it's sponsored by Microsoft PowerPoint. Very cool. Gates himself, you know? Yeah. Oh. Man, Flop really needs to kill Varanus fast, or else he's just gonna stack up so much extra credit. Oh, he's going for it. I mean, 100% going for it. You would think uh, Sora struggles a bit against camping, but, you know, Flop is playing pretty aggressive for that. Yeah. Yeah, Flop definitely is like a very, like, very aggressive more aggressive Samus, Samus yeah. yeah. It's up to figure it out, though. I also think it's just that no one knows how to play against this character yet. Yeah. No, I would think that, uh, uh, playing Kanki would win against Zoro, especially in neutral. Yeah. Good up throw. I think we just haven't like played against this character enough to know like some weaknesses. Yeah, for sure. Oh, it's still living. I Ooh, good Thundar. I will say something really good about Sora. Oh, I was about to Ooh. say it's very hard for Sora to die, like get cheese, but then he just cheats himself. We got a little dashing that's going on here. Yeah, yeah, normally Sora doesn't get cheese very easily because he has insane recovery. But as you saw right there, you can somehow SD. Down Incredible. Was that down tilt to up air? Yeah, that down tilt. Uh, that's not true, but it is uh, pretty consistent. Gotcha. Well, I'm, I'm assuming not from DI. Uh, I think it's a mix of DI. You Hard. can usually like air dodge it, but like it's also a very easy air dodge read. Gotcha. Ooh, good. Yeah. Oh, oh, hold on, this match is reversed all of a sudden. Re oh my god, he brought oh, it back! Finish. Floppy actually just completely reversing the situation. Alright. Hey, Floppy's bill. Yeah, I got it. I fixed it. All right, bringing out the pit. Varanus has gone spooked. He's taking this man seriously. You know what? Winning comes before content. Huh? One, one oh, I think. Or one oh. And meanwhile, in the background, the Warrior Wear tournament is popping off. Yeah, I changed it. Ooh. So far, pretty even against these two characters. I, I will say, I did not expect a Pit and Dark Samus this far in bracket. Guys, why did things change so drastically while I was gone? I was gone for like one year, and uh, <laughs> it's crazy. Happy the my uh, my character portrait for Sora is not actually correct because it's actually Pit. <laughs> Nothing really changing over here. Yeah. Oh well. I want to say we're going to take things a little bit more seriously with his actual name. He did a real good job with Ooh, the snipes. snipes. Oh, went a bit too far for that dare. Oh, you see, Pit has an actual reflector, so we can deal with that. Yo, that down B is clutch in those, like, ledge traps. Oh, yeah, for sure. Ooh, and securing the stock? Yeah, I, from all the time for me playing against Bernie, and he always did a good job uh, at guarding, especially with the arrow snipes. Yeah. And capitalizing, you know, Ooh. just the pressure coming back to stage with arrows. He capitalizes so hard with that. Look at these imagination combos. Oh, is he gonna... Ooh. Keep them coming in from there. Getting a real create. Oh, the punish. Good punish from Flop over there. Yeah, got a bit too carried away. Uh, raw side B is usually not a very good option. Good DI from Flop. 
Ooh. Hold up. Constant with the arrow pressure. Oh, Ooh, good down B, Reed. You see, Flop is now in an awkward situation where he has to actually deal with someone who can camp him back. Which sort of screws up his normal game plan. Because I could be wrong, but I think Flop has mainly faced a actual melee-focused character so far. Yeah, he never really faced anyone with an answer to his uh, projectiles. Yeah, so he's going to have to play a little bit more aggressively. Yeah, now that which he was against... playing before, so maybe this... Yeah, the fact that uh, Pit has a reflector and his own like really good projectile definitely messing up the game plan. That being said, he can still definitely bring this game back. Uh, Samus does have the cheese potential. Because her smashes are deceptively good. He's got the other shield. Yeah. Samus can always just pull out a random ladder combo. And just kill you at like, I don't know, 60. Ooh. Ooh. The super I really like what Flop was going for over there, but Renius did have an answer for that. It was a good idea, but uh, the random side B. Or maybe not random. Yeah. He had a feeling. Oh, nice tech. Good uh, mix up on the recovery from Flop. Ooh, I feel Flop's getting kind of frustrated here. He's going for a lot of out there smashes. Oh, nice. He lived? I did not expect Pit to actually live that. Oh, that's a kill. That's 100% kill. Yeah. And Pit cannot read. Pit cannot read indeed. But hopefully Bernie's can. That would be. That would be something. He's somehow been Ooh. operating this YouTube channel this entire time with a complete inability to read. Oh. Probably trying to... I'm going for the snipe. Probably trying to read off those uh, down piece coming from the Vernius, but Vernius is yeah. starting to pick that up, so now he's trying to Ooh. react to that. I think Flop is starting to get under Vernius a bit. Yeah, perfect he time to get power point oh, and and there it is. But we do get that final bits. I hope you like that frame-by-frame frame 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 final frame kill. There. Listen, that was planned, guys. We totally meant to have the frame-by-frame frame on that kill. Just like Sakurai intended. Just as Sakurai. Why would you put the slow motion there if it was supposed to be frame-by-frame? Oh, this is the rematch? Yeah. Oh yeah, I know. I forgot. He did tell me that he he, he did lose against Samus. I guess that in his head he knew that his sword wasn't enough against the Samus. Let me update that. Interesting combo coming in. Ooh. Ooh, that arrow interrupting the, the grapple. Very nice. Flop is definitely starting to catch on to these downbeats. Yeah, for sure. I think uh, Rainy is trying to fist for that a bit too much. It does look like there's some adaptation going on here. It is still 1 1. Could go anyway. Ooh. Oh. Could he potentially screw up the side B with the down B and then combo into that? No. Oh. I think that's what he's going for. Oh no, he dropped shield! Fortunate shield jump. I think he was trying to jump out of shield or maybe off the other Yeah, shield. I think he was trying to do something out of shield, but wasn't expecting the second head. Ooh! He's trying to go for the spike over there. Yep. Always oh, Ooh! Unfortunate that Zaire does not oh. connect to the ledge, and he definitely did not expect that. Zaire has a mind of its own, but you know what? Uh, nice back air. Nice back air. Does not quite finish the job, but good read on the down B. You know, a nice spare needs a nice spare. True. That's pretty fair. <laughs> Peak comedy, folks. You can definitely tell both players are trying to get a bit frustrated. This True. is like very far in the tournament. I believe he's di incorrectly because I don't. I could be mistaken over there, but he very well might be. Honestly, he might be, he might be di incorrectly because I don't think those, all those fair hits would actually carry you across yeah. like that. To be fair, it is hard to get experience to get to know what to do against Pit. Yeah, because well, have oh, up everything, but that's not gonna kill. This is smash too ultimate. early. Yeah. This ain't ladder Smash combos, 4. Ladder, com ladder combos do, not exist. do exist, but they do not kill in this game. They really don't kill. I think the only... Ooh. Honestly, no, that's not even a ladder combo. Uh. 
Oh, the wrong dash, dash attack. Da attack. That's how you know it's desperate when the dash attacks start coming out. I mean, he's trying to go for a miss, Ooh. but I feel like it was a little bit obvious with that. I'm trying to miss Maybe instant it. dash attack. Just these aerials are just oppressing Flop so much. He just can't. Oh my, get the snipe! You see, this is the weakness of Samus' recovery. It's, it's very predictable. So if someone can actually good. hit you, yeah, pretty it's very good, punishing. Yeah, uh, pretty good air pressure over there from Grania. Is able to capitalize off him uh, going through air pressure and then simply going with the fair. Come on, Vernius, on that part. Ooh, looking 2-1 Vernius. If he wins this, Floppy will be knocked out, and the Rhino battle will be Italian time battle. Oh, yeah. You got Town City? Ooh, the oh, sword back to Sora. Ooh. You know what? He's got his confidence back, so he's getting the content he needs. I definitely think. Uh, I definitely think Randy said. I on, in his head, I'm pretty sure he's, he's thinking that. Oh, oh wait, wrong stage. Oh, wrong alt. Uh, is this the wrong alt? Wrong yeah. skin. Yeah, skin's pretty important for you know these matches. Cause Listen it honestly, costs games. It's like earlier. Earlier, I was using Gray Ridley to try and do Punish Moo Man, but I was like, this isn't working. I need the real skin. And then I got the power up from Red Ridley. Yeah, same. Whenever I don't go Spike Gear Pichu, I simply just throw. Yeah. Pretty sure that's the Kingdom Hearts 2 skin, right? Uh, I'm not too sure, but I think that, that is. I think it might be. It is it's, the Kingdom Hearts 2 skin? Yes. That's, that's honestly a, that's a pretty good game, I heard. Honestly, it's really hard to tell between 2 and Drop Distance. <laughs> Ooh, but things are going a bit better for Flop this time around. Yeah, Brandon's definitely is thinking that I could spare a game. He's like, happens. you know what? I could get the content. Oh, WarioWare Grand Finals popping off. Oh my god. Apparently, that's the real tournament. <laughs> but unfortunately, uh, Brandon couldn't get that uppy finish. I wonder if there's a way to just like DI out of a B. I can dream. Yeah. I will say another weakness of Sora is probably shields. Because I don't think you can really get anything good out of grab. At high percent at least. I do think Sora has really good shield pressure though with his aerials. He does have, he can just kind of float around your shield. Yeah. See like right there. Yeah, just get in, get out. Maybe up the yeah, shield will work, but you, you never really know. Yeah. Three hook combo does a lot. But Flop is trying to set up the wall of these fairs. Oh. Ooh. Bernie is kind of spooked. He's like, how can I approach this? Oh, ooh, Thunder. Very nice. Thundraga? Thundraga? I honestly that? have no idea how to pronounce it. So I would just say Thunder. All right. Because I am a casual. Thunder. Oh, Thank he you. just let it happen. Sorry. It just slowly approached him. I think that's a really good uh, edge guarding tool, I believe. Yeah, target really covers just... covers a lot, a lot of distance, and you really can't like you need to jump over it, but still the vertical distance is a lot. Wow, he was just able to just double down tilt on shield. No pun. Good parry. Oh, yep. That is fun, that guy. Oh, going for the blizzard. Oh, we got PowerPoint. Oh, PowerPoint to kill. to kill. Sick. Okay, let's go. PowerPoint to kill. I swear it happens every time. It might just be a true combo. All right, this is potentially Floppy's tournament stock. He's feeling the pressure, I'm trying to get in here. I saw that down here was going for. He, it, he did try and go for the down here. He did try to go for that. Accidentally be reversing thunder from the Gaga. Not cycling, yeah. Who knows? But probably that. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Ooh. Yeah. I, I started trying to get Blizzaga to like connect properly. It is a struggle. It is a struggle early. When you do land it, it feels When so you good. land it, it kills stupid early. It kills so early, it's so good. Ooh, nice. No, not a killing though. I don't think I was fully charged. I'm um, not too sure, but I don't think Samus charge shot doesn't kill that often. Yeah. Good recovery. Ooh, nice. Oh, he's got the charge shot on deck. Oh, side beat. Side beat doesn't, it like never kills, but guys, so much damage. Almost damage and 
Oh no, the air dodge! That's so unfortunate. But it looks like Vernius is gonna take it and go on to Grand Finals. But yes, Vernius will go to Grand Finals. He goes on to move against the Italian Panda. Is Vinny trying to reclaim Rampo? Vinny's out for revenge. He really do be out for revenge. All right, Grand Finals. Here we go. We have the content men trying to get their sweet, sweet content from this Grand Finals. Yo, content? God, I love content. Gentlemen, let's get some content. Yo, consume oh. content? Consume content. I do like content. Content. Oh, hold on, oh. we're not... Are right, starting? And here we go, starting off with Sora Zero Suit. He's the new character, gotta get... Oh, if he has Steed, I swear. But unfortunately, he's Sora, he can't have Steed. Got up airs on shield right there. Ooh, nice up air. Oh. Ooh. Panda's really just feeling him out right now, get those nice grabs. Oh. Ooh! Ooh, he warned it. There and there it is. is. He waited for it. That was a good refund panel. The there. patience. The zen. Oh, congratulations, Let's Go Anime, for winning WarioWare. The entire franchise. Anyways, back to the tournament. Panda is just kind of hanging out here, not trying to overextend, just trying to build up as much extra credit as he can. Wow, that hit from behind him. 
Yeah, I didn't notice that. That DLC privilege. Ooh, that down air, it just doesn't do it. Ooh, Pan Panda just is, uh, he's just kind of spacing in a ways that Sora can't really beat. Oh, ooh, and there it is. Well, no, he's still living. I thought for sure Sora was light enough to die there. Never yeah. He's out here for the content. He is out oh. here for the content. But, ooh, but will he be punished for his content greed? Should he have just stuck with his main? Right now he just... Oh, that's right it. That's got to be it. Yep. Ooh. Oh. Yeah. Ooh. Cheek up so good. Accidentally. Remember, guy really has got iframes the moment he come out. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody's been playing a bit too much Nick All-Star, so there's basically no invincibility. Yeah. That'll get you. Wait, did he just jab out of up tilt? I think that was down air. Ah, uh, that explains it. But yeah, that that up smash just so much pressure on ledge. Not ledge, platforms. I think Zero Suit's one of the few characters around here, or well, at least characters that people actually main here, who has the movement to challenge Sora. Oh yeah, for sure. Because Zero Suit... A little bit of PowerPoint going on action over here. The moment we mentioned high movement, we go into like the slowest PowerPoint of all time. Yeah, well, let's have you face oh. through some dimensions over Hold here. Hold on, we're back time travel. Okay, we and are now last stock situation. Last stock situation. We have traveled to the future, where it's one stock, one stock. Yeah, we sent our hearts to the future. Both of them just walked up and shielded. That's how you know they're scared. Oh, ooh, the raw man. Oh, hold up. Getting some good damage out here. Bernays can probably get some pretty good damage before he dies. Well, yeah, he gets some good damage, but can he really close out before Panda does? Oh, ooh, I thought for sure he would get punished there. Oh, ooh. Interesting. Ooh. I like how the that, down B just simply just moves them across the That down B covers so much space. Both players absolutely terrified. Oh! Wait, no, he's alive! Good DI from Hello? Uh, over here. That is some well, killer DI. Stock. Oh. Ooh. Greedy job over there. Tried to box Ooh. shield, but got a bit too greedy. Ooh. You know, at the start, it really looked like Panda was favored, but... Varanus somehow managed to weasel his way back. Varanus definitely wants to win Grand Finals with Sora. He really wants the content. He really wants the content. Imagine the thumbnail. <laughs> He's like, I won a tournament with Sora! God, the, the content writes itself. Let's begin the second round. Alright, heading into game two. Now, Varanus isn't loser, so he is going to have to, like, essentially win two games. Two sets. Actually. Yep. And I kind of hope he doesn't because I want to go home. <laughs> this tournament takes forever. All right. I can, I can kind of already tell Panda's being a bit more cautious this time. More is theirs. Oh. Fortunate. Sora's up. He's really, really oh strong compared God. to other up in this game. It is crazy strong. Yeah, when I still talking about ladder combos, Sora's kind of an exception to that. Yeah, Sora's up is kind of insane. It's crazy kill move, pretty early. Oh, did he? No, of oh, course he's, he's not dead. He's Sora. Back. He's Sora, of course. What was I thinking? He's been this Kingdom Hearts. Is, he's Sora, of course. The power of friendship lets him recover. Oh, no. Wait. Oh, he, he just knew he was dead. <laughs> Pan is like, all right, okay, this is a... Uh, you know, sometimes intentionally killing yourself is better, psychologically. It doesn't feel as bad when you SD, like, on your own terms. The response Ooh. to the B. Nice. St oh, oh, no, he was too far away. Like too far from that. Dang, this pressure is just crazy. Yeah, sorry, definitely excels in shield pressure. Yeah. Sora can just be. He just. Sora is just constantly attacking you. Either through. Oh. 
You know, I keep thinking, oh, is he gonna SD? No. Never, of course not. He's Sora. He's got that Disney money. I have to say, Disney's pretty safe, therefore he is safe. Yeah. Oh. Ooh, that was risky. And on his last breath, last oh. fight in him. Up air does kill pretty early, so he's got to be very wary of that. Oh. Can he punish this? Side B. Oh, almost got the down. Oh, there it is. Finally punched the down B out of Ooh. Ludge. Hmm. Bernie is taking the second game. I'm seeing a bracket reset. They've been here the entire time. You're still the only one who took the bribe. Yo, can I have some? Sure, I mean, there's no. Oh, wait. Is it open? Yeah. Maybe not. It's kind of sus. Time for what? Anyways, ignoring the suspicious food behind me. Back to the match. Taking it to town and city. Hmm. I have to wonder what's really going on with the counter picks right now. Because no one's really sure what Sage's store is good on. Like, I think we have, like, an idea, but nothing really concrete. So it's almost sort of random in a way. It's like, Ed, this might work. Oh, no. Oh, he wanted it so bad. Oh. Oof. Hey, and there it is. But, no, man, I thought Sora was light, but he's surprisingly, like, living these hits. Oh, the, what? I'm curious to see how, how much ending lag he gets after the third side B. Uh, I'm, I think it depends on, like, how you land. Oh, hey, wait, does it, does Dare just beat up? That must have been, like, a s specific situation. But, yeah, I think Vranish is a... He's learning the matchup, but just making it progressively harder for Panda to really do anything. Just because Sora is a, He's Sora. Oh, very nice. Wow, four to almost killing. And there it is. Now, he could always fall at the ladder combo. Oh, he's just holding neutral B. Oh, wow, that kills. I really am surprised at Sora's kill power. I thought he would just be the combo machine. But no, he's actually got some pretty nice kill. Wow, he really wanted that greedy F smash. Oh. This is just so much pressure. Oh. Good parry pressure from Vernius over there. If that was a sweet spot, I think that would have just killed that, right? Oh, oh the miss input. That'll be the Looks like reset. we're getting a bracket reset. So now both of them will have lost one match. This next match will be side of can I change this? Uh, I think you just want both winners. No, both losers. Yeah. Ah, I guess that works. <laughs> oh, and you got the bracket reset. And Pena's gotta be thinking, no, this can't be happening. I came here for winners. Not like this. Uh, I, set, I, I put it both to L and reset it. <laughs> What's the score? Huh? What's the score? Cracker reset. What? Cracker reset. So we're doing it all over again. Now both of them have lost one match. This next match is Well, here we go. All right, run it back, boys. Let's run it back. Ooh, Pokemon Stadium. What if Panda was just holding back his true power this whole time? He 100% could have just been filling him out all this time. That would be actually crazy if he was just throwing the entire time. 
Because he did do well at the beginning. He just kind of fell off after a bit. I don't know, Panda doesn't strike me as the guy to kind of throw for content. That's true. He just kind of... If it's how it is, it's how it is. No, I was just saying maybe the first set, he, like, he might have been using to, like, just get a feel for him, but that's also, like, really taxing on on someone's mental. Yeah. Like, you might as well just win, right? <laughs> yeah, why not just win? Unless he has some ulterior... Unfortunately. Oh. Yeah, that up air, man. So good. Covers so much space. Great kill option. Can combo. Rising up air into up is like an absurdly early kill. Oh, he's, he almost, almost did it. Finish. Ooh. That side B would have been a great kill. Oh. There's got to be a way to hit Sora while he's doing that. Like, oh, the oh. fair to F smash. Really good conversion. Not quite true, but might as well be. Panda just fishing for these side bees because he knows it'll kill at this point. Although it is pretty stale now. But he is just under constant pressure because Sora is everywhere at once. Oh, God. and there it is. Okay, that was... That's another strike of the story. He could just do that without any concern. Okay. Man's having a tough time. Just Man, Both players are having mental breakdowns trying to figure out how absurd this character is. Yeah. They're like, damn, he really can't just do that. Oh, Ooh. Sephiroth? Ooh. Sephiroth kind of pick. The canonical grand finals? Yeah, we got the secret boss going. But does he have the music counter pick? Oh, uh, no music. Oh. Yeah, I'll do it in a sec. But will this Sephiroth be the change he needs? Did he just jab reset without tilt? I guess he could do that. That is uh, kind of weird. What? Oh, yeah. Oh, the Sora does have that. The counter only blocks. It doesn't deflect or reflect, rather. It just passes right through. Yep. Sephiroth may have slow aerials and options in general, but his Nair is really good and just advantage itself. Yeah, is very really good. good. He might be able to make up for the slow aerials if he just stays back. Oh, and yeah, the one definitely good spacing with Sephiroth would, can definitely help, you know. Oh, if he was like an impact. inch further, that side tilt would have killed. Oh yeah, Sephiroth, Sephiroth also, while he has slow aerials, has a really good movement actually. Like just look at that. How, how fast yeah, dash attack goes to really far. So he might have an easier time dodging through Sora shenanigans. I guess I would say. Yeah, he doesn't have to be in front of Sora like Zerus does. He can Ooh, good. Hold up. Right over there. Is this the change he needed? <laughs> oh, Sephiroth hanging on. The counter. Good counter. Is this the change he needed? Oh, oh wow. He lived anyway! That's insane. Sora can... Uh, I think he might have ticked. Yeah, he definitely tacked that in the side feed. I really like what uh, Panda was going for. This counter is really good. Oh, he he knew! Sephiroth is killing my frames. Se Sephiroth is bringing despair to the stream. Oh, that was almost a sick up smash. Yeah, a smash unfortunately doesn't actually cover ground like, directly yeah. in front of you. Yeah, you would think it would, but I guess balance. Yeah, it's not like Ganondorf up smash, but that's the one thing. Yeah. Ooh, this, this counter is so counter. clutch. He's punishing, holding forward. Insane concept. Hopefully, uh... Looks like Vernius might... Might start. Oh, no, he got... Wait! He did get one wing. He's alive! Um, I'm not sure. Does Sephiroth get more weight with wing? I don't believe he does. Okay. I think he gets sl slightly faster. Yeah, that's for sure. Sorry, yeah. Mm. I'm not saying Panda use, use Nair too much, which is interesting, but... I feel like Panda's not using Nair enough. Yeah, that, for sure, but he's definitely oh, nice really, good, really good space aerials. This is definitely might be the answer that uh, Panda has been looking for. But what's not the answer is random dares.
As we have a PowerPoint presentation. Very cool. Oh, hold up. That was sick. Well, if it worked, it would have been sick. But still, very good coverage. Wait, that still hit through the counter? Unfortunately, does not hit behind. I think he's found out the timing for how to avoid uh, throws into Uppy. Which is good. Oh, th that will connect. Thunder Guy does combo into itself. Yeah. It's pretty inconsistent, though. Uh, sometimes you know, get hit by only one, and then just barely just anything. But when it hits all three, it's just nutty. Yo, Hollow Bastion? We're getting the content counter picks? I feel like these guys have committed to just the content. Wait, shouldn't that be Twins or Furnace or something? Yeah, it was. You're right. So, so if he wins this, that's it. This could be potentially the last arc, last stock in, last this game of the tournament. This could potentially be the final match of the tournament. And it's fitting that it takes place in this And he's doing a crack down damage. Oh, there it is. That's the combo. You like to see it. I definitely want to see the... Wait, is this stadium legal? I'm not going to... I'm, uh, I'm not saying anything. You know what? We haven't... Like actually done any research yet? It's probably fine. Not in this tournament though, but yeah, it's whatever. I'm it's a gentleman. Tournament. Who cares? Who cares? I'm gonna pretend Smashville. It's basically Smashville. Oh, almost got the shield break. Almost got the read on the only on shield for too much. I mean, he did get the read, but it wasn't yeah. quite enough. Ooh, Good making use of the fair to grab the stage. Darn. In the timeline where uh, Panda actually wins this, he should counter him, pick, counter him, pick, not counter pick him to uh, the other stage. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> to the Northern Plains? Northern, Northern yeah, Caves. Northern Caves. I think that'll be really fitting. Oh yeah. And I'll take a little bit of time traveling over here. Oh. Dang. So what is with Sephiroth and just destroying frames? And okay, that'll bring it back to an even state. You know, it's kind of fitting. Sephiroth will like the stream to. To him he, getting he's bringing despair to smash <laughs> and our stream interesting he could really use that platform to uh, actually help uh, protect himself against the Thundago. yeah I've noticed like a weird thing with Sora's uh, side B well not neutral B I'd rather yeah. where sometimes it will ignore platforms sometimes it won't I think it depends on your actual elevation relative to the platform yeah I'm also a big fan of uh, Panda finally starting to make to use side B a little bit so oh, he yeah. has a really, really good pressure once landed. And could has real good potential stocks, even. Mm. Ooh. Oh, this magic. Wait. He does have the one wing. That's oh. not enough. I think he waited too long in the upbeat. I don't think he realized he, he jumped that early. Ooh. Looking pretty dicey for Panda. Can he bring this back? We do love countering nothing over here. Countering nothing? Kind of. Hey, oh it has a hitbox. He's just doing fairs. Not fairs, F tilts. Oh, yeah, he got it. Too much of fishing going on over here from Panda, but. Yeah, I think Panda's just trying anything and see if it works. Yeah, hey, there we go. This could, uh, this just, is the last talk potential of the tournament. Just do that not again. Like this. Oh, no, that Thunder. Thunder Daga. Yeah, sure. Well, after tournament. This will be over in like a minute. Possibly. Ooh, this. He's resorting to jabs. That, this really do be Kingdom Hearts. Is someone actually playing Kingdom Hearts right now? Is it, King, is it the secret boss in Kingdom Hearts 2? Ooh. Yeah. And that's this the tournament. Hardening, but that'll be the last stock of the tournament. There you have it. Vernius has won the tournament. Vernius has achieved content, everyone. Well, See I'm you out. nerds next time. <laughs> you play well. You play well. Yeah, Vernius is a really good player.